pew 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 Thank you. God damn it. I was running out of jingles. I know. It was funny, and then we were like laughing, and then I was just like, he's got to come right now, and I look over at him, and he's just smiling. Just smile and act like an asshole right here. I threw the ah. mattress giant jingle there at the end. I think <laughs> I think he got used to you coming in as him last week. So now he's like, I don't even have to do it. And it's like, no, Robert, we need you to jump in. We need you to jump well, in. Well, eventually we're going to pass out. We can't do this, the whole podcast. We, we debated doing it last week. You heard that, and it yeah. was a real struggle. <laughs> I think good to have you back. I guess <laughs> I think so. Uh, for like, I've been I've been looking at some best of stuff for the end of the year because we're gonna do like we take that week of like New Year's off, and I think I just want to put like a super cut of us pew pewing <laughs> from so it's gonna be like the first fifteen minutes of the best of podcast are just like pew 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 pew. pew. How many minutes of that do you think there is right now? Ooh, I, I, I mean, feel like it's at least a minute. Per her episode, right? No, it's probably more like twenty seconds per episode. Okay, so I, let's like rough up, like ra- round round up to thirty. Let's say about thirty no, I don't seconds. Think there's any way we do thirty? Oh, dude, I don't know, Robert. What do you think? I think sometimes it's thirty. I'd say at least five minutes worth. Yeah, easily, I'd say we probably easily. Have five minutes worth. Wait, how many episodes have we done this year? You've done every single one this year, pretty much. How long did Pew Pew start though? Pew Pew is pretty early. I feel like. Yeah. I feel pew, like pew, that was like pew, March. Wasn't it Pew Pew Six? Ooh, yeah, it was. It was. So 24 episodes? <laughs> yeah, we got 25, 25, 24 episodes of that for sure. Yeah. Well, I guess it would be 25 now because... And then we've had a couple you, bonus yeah, ones. 26. Right. <laughs> Guys, we're really bad at math. I don't know why we're breaking this down. It doesn't really even matter, does it, at this point? <laughs> You'll probably people like, are listening. Like, dude, these guys can't do math. Man, these guys are really dumb, and that's why we do podcasts. Guys. I stopped learning when uh, I left school. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have degrees, all right, all of us. We're learned. Yeah, we're uh, this is a podcast of learned people here, <laughs> so respect our authority. It shows you that degrees just don't mean shit. That's pretty much. I remember, like, remember getting your degree, like this is okay. Like, I got drunk a lot in college. Like, I remember I got it done. <laughs> like, doing it, and I was like, I don't even want to walk. Like, my my dad, like, he came and, like, he did the same thing he did at my high school graduation. As soon as my name was said, he was up. He was fucking up, and he just walked out and went and got us a table at Saltgrass, and I met him over there. But remember, like, there would be people that would drop out of school, and they're like, dude, school is just too tough for me. And, like, 100%, I understand, like, money wise, financially. I get how school's a pain in the ass. Yeah. And if you can't afford it, like, yes, I get that. But, like, if you just fuck around at school and fail out, you're like, man, dude, that shit was too tough. I was like, no, it wasn't. You just show up when you need to show up. Yeah, but like, also, like, we didn't easy. get hard degree. It's not like we got, like, engineering or fucking But I'm just saying, like, you can graduate from college. We took mass comm and fucking criminal right. justice. But you like, can it's not graduate from college, okay. But see, that's, like, uh, just right just there, change your fucking major. Just math. change your major. That's us all I'm saying. not being able to do math, like... People who do like engineering and shit like that, they have to retain knowledge and bring it to the next year. Did you have to retain anything well, you learned? Um, yeah, I know. How to turn a microphone on. Just turn one on today. There you go. You know just, what? You know I know what? talking into one did that for. I, I got a whole degree in talking into the microphone. Yeah. I don't know if you, you know this. I can talk that. pretty good into it. You could have also learned that like yesterday. That's true. You I, didn't learn how to talk into a microphone, did you? I re- well, <laughs> I saw a microphone. I started talking near it. I kind of figured it <laughs> if out. You talk near it. Usually, like you'll find your way around it. Yeah, that's what I always learned. Yeah. Just turn a microphone on. Like, what is this? It's right over here. No, no, up, up. Oh, hey, I found it. I think I found this. Is, this is me. This Marco. is me now. Polo. Polo. Oh, there, up, there it is. Yeah. Done. Got it. Done. Just like that. Nailed it. I'm not trying to say we're smart or anything at all. I'm just saying that, like, after a while, I, I was used like, to be. You, it's not that hard to graduate from college. I'm not saying with an engineering degree. I'm not. I'm just saying from college, almost anybody should be able to graduate from college. Depending on what college if you it have is the, and right. what degree you're going right. for. Right. Like, but I'm, I'm saying I will, I will like, say there's easy out, degrees everywhere. Anybody should be able to graduate with a criminal justice degree from Texas State. Like, right. I'll say that right now. Right. Like I hate to talk shit about my school, 
But, like, whew, that was easy. The only reason I didn't have better grades is because I didn't show up half the time. But I still fucking graduated. But I feel like a lot of college... And that it might go back to my easy major and everything again. It was just, like, you have to fucking show up and know how many... Like, at the beginning of the semester, I'd, be, I'd go, how many absences can I miss in this? Okay. Teacher doesn't take attendance. I can miss as many fucking classes yeah. as I need. I just got to know when my tests are. Dope. Awesome. Okay, I can miss three absences. I just got to kind of slowly calculate when I'm going to miss these. Yeah. Do I have a friend that may sign me in? Yes. Perfect. That means I get twice as many absences. Things like that. You just calculate that at the beginning of it. And it's like, yeah, I would argue that I use more more intelligence trying to calculate like how to not go to classes <laughs> and which classes to and not to go to than actually studying for the classes. But, hey, I would say that that's intelligence in itself. The best was classes that didn't take attendance and they put their PowerPoints online. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, man, I'd show up like history, three times a year History for the of test. rock and roll, which I don't know how it was a class in in the first place. But like it was in like an old church building. <laughs> And it was dope. I, I showed like, up and I was like, "This is actually pretty intense, pretty, pretty like pretty dope." But it's like a nine o'clock class, and that like your fourth week in college. Like I'm drunk every day, so I'm not going to show up. <laughs> One of the only classes I ever enjoyed was anthropology. I was like, "This is actually." I don't even know what that is. It's the study of human cultures. So it was like learning oh. about like old caveman that and. Uh, I was going to say arachnophobia. Me- meteorology. meteorology was pretty to- tight too. Meteorology. Uh, I, I yeah. just took it because it was like a class that filled in and counted as an elective. That's going to end up being pretty dope. I watched a lot of Man U soccer in that class. There though. we go. I mean, wrong team. Especially this week. Fuck Man yeah, U this it was, week. It was back in the day. I was young and naive. Yeah, you, you were not as intelligent as you are no. now. It was before, we weren't, you weren't graduated. It was before I'd seen Green Suit Hooligan, so there I didn't know. There you go. Okay. Uh, All right. Hey, I mean, we're just, I don't want to be that guy, but we are big anti-Man U fans this week. Yeah. Fuck you, Manchester. Fuck man, you. Fuck, yeah, fuck man, you and the horse you rode in on. Ooh, I oh, like that. There we go. That was it. All right. Robert, do you have any, any opinions on schooling and whatnot? No? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, I, took a, I, I learned, like, real shit in school. I didn't just get to hang out. That's when you're supposed to roll up with the old line from the, uh, the fucking Barry Gibbs talk show. No. No. No, I don't. <laughs> Nobody knows what the fuck I'm no, talking about. Do you no, even know what I did? I was just gonna let you go with that. Oh, just... it's SNL, Jimmy Fallon and Timberlake. It's fucking <laughs> great. Oh, I should probably turn the sound off on my phone. Eh. Uh, we we learned that in radio school. <laughs> I didn't learn that yet. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to, to mute your phone. Even though what? I think mine went off the other day. But guess too, what? So. I just learned it right there. So yeah. learn, you learn something new every day. <laughs> the college of so grade. this is us. We're not just gonna make fun of college, even though like, I don't know why I didn't get great grades in college. I passed. No, I didn't either. I did get an A in African American history. So if you ever saying that I'm not cultured, then fuck off, please. Is it cultural was... appropriation to take that class? No, I was educating myself, so I would like I would you know get rid of my white privilege. So I guess you could argue that I don't have any white privilege because I've learned how the other side lives. I mean, I'd argue that, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if many other people would, but we could. <laughs> this small, concentrated group nobody, right here. Nobody can prove us wrong. In this studio, That's just we've like all your agreed. Your opinion, man. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Did you see Jeff Bridges said something on Twitter the other day, <laughs> and it was some like political take, and I was like, I know somebody had to reply with that, and it was like the first 4,000 replies. Just like, <laughs> hey, that's just like your opinion, man. It was like something about like you should get out there and vote, and I was just like, ah, uh, <laughs> he can't like say any opinion without it. Just ever, it's gonna just come back and be like, fuck you. <laughs> How dare you have an opinion? You even said that. I didn't say that. That was the dude. <laughs> All right, let's get into where you've been because we've just talked for ten minutes rambling. Yeah, that's what we do now. Hey, you. Where you been? 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 Where you gone? Where you gone? Since you where you been? Where you been? Where you been? Well, because he's been gone the longest, why don't we welcome back to the podcast, Robert Barbosa. Yeah. Yay. I never got that. Like, yeah, I guess it's supposed to sound like a roaring crowd, but like that doesn't sound like cheering. That just sounds like somebody blowing hot air on you, right? <sighs> like, could that ever be mistaken as a crowd? Instead of clapping, are you supposed to like snap? Pat, could you please snap? No, because I'm Welcome not back, at, Robert Barbosa. I'm not at a poetry reading in a coffee shop. <laughs> hey, where you been, Robert? Yeah, where you been, buddy? Oh, man, I've just been working. Nothing interesting. Working like a dog. Yeah. You've been two much. weeks and you couldn't come up with anything. Uh, I saw a movie, but you guys don't want to hear about what that. What movie Oh, I it? do. 
It was called A Simple Favor. What's it about? What? About a favor, obviously. No, obviously. Was it a documentary or? No, it's uh, with Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick. Okay, I'm in. Have you guys seen Gone I'm Girl? I'm all about both of you them. You just said you just said we should like we wouldn't give a shit, and you I just named you Blake Lively and then Anna Kendrick. Yeah, I'm 100 percent in on this. Did Where you guys their see, tits? Uh, Gone Girl. I did. Just, oh. It's basically like that, but like on steroids. Uh, so like she kind of just oh, like oh. psycho girl makes the guy out to be the bad guy. Whole town wants to kill the guy, and then she was kind of crazy, and it might not have been his fault. In a way. Oh, God. In but were they naked? Uh, Did you see any boobs? No, you don't. Damn uh, it. Who gives it? He's right. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, when Anna Kendrick's in it, I'm like, maybe boobs, or did she sing? Was she there any sing? There was no sing? Okay. If the movie doesn't show up on Mr. Skin, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Did you look at Mr. S- Mr. No. Skin? <laughs> don't you have to, like, subscribe to it? I think you do. I don't know. Because... Every year he does his top ten like Mr. Skin moments, and Rod always has him on, and he gives us like the code to go look at all of it. And he's like, "Yes, I feel like I have like twenty four hours. I get, years. but for twenty four hours, like I get to look at titties at work because it's titties, 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 titties. And it's like Westworld. They're big orgies. It's only scene. exciting like, you because be-. you're at work though, right? But but like it's just cool at work. Be like, ha ha. I prefer nudography. <laughs> it's art, guys. This is for this is for work. Yeah. All right, back to you. You didn't write it off? I don't pay for it, so no. <laughs> if you did, you would. Yeah, That'd right. Be really cool. Maybe I should pay. Ooh, I should pay for it every year and then write it off for like work. Like if, I had to. This is my job. I if had to. If Instagram look at cost money, I could do that because like I have to look it up if for Instagram, Instagram costs feature money, of the would day. Be on it. No, but I'm saying for me, particularly selfishly, then I could write it off because I'm like, well, I have to help look up Instagram features of the day. I'm not being a pervert. I'm doing work. That's why, like, I, nobody can get mad at me. Like, well, why do you just have butts on your Instagram? I'm like, well, excuse me, ma'am. I uh, <laughs> I have to meticulously research all of these badonka donks on the Instagram and find the greatest out there, so everybody sure. can find. I like, mean, we have Fanny Fridays, we have Milf Mondays. You never know. We've got cosplay Tuesdays sometimes. It should be Titty Tuesday. Titty. I mean, we can't. You can't say that. You could say TDs. You could TDs Tuesday. You could, but we don't. Could you just say like ta ta? Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, ta ta Tuesday. Could you say titties ta-ta. if you spelled it T I D D I E S? Titties. No. God, no, Jimmy, you can't. Jimmy from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robert, back to you, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is going great. Uh, that's pretty much. I mean, like, it was. It's not going to win any. The movie isn't going to win any awards, but like ladles of gravy. Would you? I would say three. 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 Well, that's that's not average, horrible. Average that's not horrible. Would, was it better or worse than Gone Girl? It was worse than Gone Girl, but it, it's like crazy in a way. Like the last fifteen minutes can like really change the direction of uh, the movie, opinion of the movie. Like it's either really good or like it's too crazy. Can me. you give us a TLDR without giving away the ending? Mm. I don't think so. Like, how do you do that without? It sort of away? becomes a comedy. Can you just leave out the last part. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that just be a TLD? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just saying <laughs> that was that was me just trying to figure out how to like. Like, obviously, I know I was wrong when you said that. And I was like, no, you just leave out the last part. We just don't know what happens at the end. <laughs> so you just, like, walk us up to it and then just stop. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I mean, like like I said. It, like, it, did you miss Ben Affleck? Like, were you longing for Affleck? No. No? No. Okay. I mean, I thought he was a crucial part of Gone Girl, so. What about you guys? Where have you guys been? What happened to your wife? We know what happened to your wife. We're we just gonna keep talking about Gone Girl this whole episode? a little bit. I still I feel like I have it. to really. It's not that. I mean, it's it's on my Netflix it, list. It stresses you out. It stresses you out. It's one uh, of those where you're like, oh my god, I swear if this happened. So uh, I, uh, I was. I mean, I, I assume me and Alex are pretty similar ones. Just watching a lot of football this yeah, weekend. Yeah. Notre Dame. Man, they switch quarterbacks. Went with a book. Smart move for a yeah, college. Smart right. move for a college because you know what they say, bring it back to the books these days. Well, we, we changed our quarterbacks from the guy that can run really well but has no accuracy to a quarterback that can throw the football accurately. Who would have thought that might be a like, idea? Because like, the quarterback throws it. And yeah, and, like, we, and probably we, go with that guy. We, we put up like 52 points. So, like, yeah, that worked pretty well. Yeah. and uh, Against Wake Forest, though. Against Wake Forest. Yeah, but, like, it's just it's a, You're right. it's, it's, You're it's right. a proof of concept. Okay. Yeah, there we, that's what we're we'll go with that. Proof we'll go with that. That's fair. So, uh, yeah, college football. Watch a bunch of that. You know, all day Sunday NFL. Uh, played a bunch of Fortnite. 
Mm. Finally leveled up to level 100 on it, but the new season's about to release, so all that shit's going to get, you know. It just goes away. Just going to start over. Got to pay again to start the new. You got to pay? Well, no, like, you can play it completely free, and, like, there's still challenges and shit to unlock, but to, like, get all the, like, better characters and stuff, like, you don't really have to pay. I could still play without paying. It, like, doesn't change anything. Can but, you, like, do you win less? Well, there's, like, just less shit to unlock. That's all it is. Uh, but how much, like, like, how much do you pay? I think That's where it's they get like, you because they make it seem like it's a free game. I think it's like uh, it was like fifteen twenty bucks per season, and every season lasts ten weeks. So like, it's not bad. You're on vacation now. I think now is the perfect time to get into it. I no, I already got a video game I'm playing right now, guys. I just got I got FIFA nineteen. I pre ordered it, which mm. means I get three days of early access to it. And fuck yeah, have I been playing some FIFA nineteen? Like R.I.P. Fortnite. Like I got Madden. I was into Madden. FIFA 19 dropped. Oh, what? I get two days early access? Holy shit. It was totally worth the extra $10 to pre-order. So you're basically a European now. Well, I'm playing with a European yeah, so you should, you, right. I mean, you should just eat a lot of cheese and surrender. So does he have more Stop brushing white my privilege? teeth. Does he have what? Does he have more white privilege if he's European? It's not just white people in Europe, Yeah, there's Robert, a lot of racist. non-white yeah, people in Europe, Robert. Hey, maybe you don't hate on my culture. Yeah. Or cultures you don't know anything about, all right? Mr. I-don't-eat-takis guy. We had a discussion about this earlier. Robert, like, is it anti-cultural appropriation for Robert to not eat takis? Or is it just racist that we expect him to eat takis? That's true. Or, or is That's Robert pronounced them correctly? The... Takis. Takis. Yeah, Robert, like, to- he says takis, and then he drops, like, a takis. So, like, he turned into JC like, for a okay, minute. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right, Mr. I know some Spanish here. So, uh, yeah, I did all that. And, Mr. Uh, In Vivo. I uh, I finished the Defenders. I'm like I'm way behind on all my Marvel shit on Netflix, so I just decided don't know what that is. Start knocking it out. It's the one you know all the the Netflix Marvel shows with like Daredevil and Jessica and Joe. And it's the one they all team up to kick some ass. You excited for Daredevil season three? Uh, well, dude, I just finished the Defenders, so like I, that was last night or two nights ago. So then I started um, Daredevil last night. Which, First season? Yeah, dude, like I told you, I'm like four years behind. Oh. So, like, I'm going to knock all those out, and then I'm going to knock the other ones. So, like, I'll be a little behind Daredevil, because it comes out in, like, what, 10 days? Something yeah. Like that. So, like, I'm going to I'm gonna try and catch up quick, so I'll be right there. But, like, Daredevil's obviously the best one. Like, Daredevil yeah. is the best one. Like, I, what stopped is I used to watch him with my brother, and uh, we started uh, Defenders way back, but he just fucking hates Jessica Jones. <laughs> Why? Because she's a woman? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> and like the acting's not that good and stuff, but then he's also the guy's like, let's just give the woman superpowers now. I'm like, Andrew, she's been around for like 25 fucking years, man. <laughs> she's kind of central to this group that they're building. Like yeah, the people that are like, stupid. wasn't Captain Marvel not Kristen, a dude Kristen Ritter not a woman? just sucks at acting, man. And I'm like, okay, Andrew, whatever. So like, I got tired of waiting for him, and so I caught all up on that. And now I'm watching, you know, fucking The Punisher, who's just kills everybody nice. fucking awesome. Punisher was good yeah he so punishes have, everybody about three and a half episodes in there so and that's what I've been doing just catch up on shit and watch football that's cool that's just it. yeah I've been watching some football throwing down some some gambles some some bets you know I did pretty well the last two weeks not gonna brag I'm not gonna tell anybody because nobody gives a fuck but uh, I had you know I had some skin in all the games so I was really into like college football the last two Saturdays which is it's always more fun we're like ooh this is a pretty big game and I have some. I, I might have a you shot got some here, on this, on right? And and it's looking good for me right now, which makes you even more entered in, into it. Like the Stanford Oregon game, would not have gave, given two shits about if I didn't have money on it. It was like, all right, let's hang in here, boys. So uh, watched a lot of football. Went to the Giants Texans game on Sunday. I got pretty drunk and got to see what? Giants get their uh, their first dub of the season. It was awesome. I mean, I know they beat an 0-2 team. You were very pessimistic going into I it. I was incredibly pessimistic, and the entire time I was like, we're probably still going to fuck it up. We're probably still going to fuck it up. We're probably still going to fuck it up. Like I kept saying to people, I don't know why they're not throwing to Will Fuller. Maybe throw to Will Fuller. Some more. Oh, Will Fuller caught a touchdown. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Hey, maybe throw it to him again. He's going against a backup cornerback. No? Okay, tight. Like, we should definitely just start, like, lead, let Deshaun run around in the backfield for, like, four hours and not throw it. We should also definitely do that. Also, let's just uh, let's continue to not blitz. <laughs> like, not blitz the Giants offensive line that's garbage right now. Let's yeah, just like, not that do that. Yeah, that was astounding to me. 
I like mean, you guys did JJ Watt got three sacks. JJ Watt got three sacks. So they did bring pressure on the quarterbacks. Eli, I think he was 25 and 29. Like, my fucking boy knew I was there. And he was like, oh, Alex is here? Alex is here? And all the haters are hating? Fuck the haters. Alex, tell him to suck my dick. And I was like, suck Eli's dick. So I, I told everybody that on the way out, too. I didn't really, though. That's what I love, but, though. Like, the guy that can't throw under pressure, and the Texans were like, no, nah, we don't need to bring pressure. Like, you know what's They what's did astounding? bring pressure, but also. Big move by Pat Shermer. I would argue the best move he made. Chad Wheeler, right tackle instead of Eric Flowers. What? Which is what? crazy. You mean we can somehow block a little bit better without a turnstile? That's just like, oh, you can sack a quarterback. That's what's crazy. Instead. He gave up three sacks and was still way better was than Eric Flowers. Oh, my God. <laughs> And I so like it's it's so it's frustrating being at the game sometimes because you don't get like the like what's going on necessarily yeah. like they don't like oh also he's his return is questionable like yeah. you don't always hear that shit like you do when you're watching the game so I was like what's going on at right tackle like <laughs> and like then I was like why is there a white guy in at white, right tackle like what happened to Eric Flowers and I was like Eric Flowers did they bench Flowers or is he hurt and so I was like no they benched him they benched him after that second series fuck yes. And then I was like, we benched our we benched our right tackle. We might win this game. And then the Texans started coming back. And I was like, Giants are going to blow this. Giants are going to blow yeah, this. And then Defense we fumble, fucking and then figured hit. it out, dude. Defense figured it out. We fucking knocked Evan Ingram out of the game. And then just go, you know, let's give this backup white guy a touchdown. Rhett Allison. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking guy named Rhett. I love it. I name love Rhett. it. Rhett Bomar. I know. Also that's named what Rhett. I knew. You'd pick a- up eating about Bearcats. Uh, but uh, the Giants looked good. Another Texans are zero and two, and the Giants are just one and two. They got a really tough schedule coming up. Texans so. are zero and three. You said. I mean, zero and three. Te- but they were both zero and two going into it. It was an zero and two team that you beat. Tank so. the season. I don't want to tank the season. I want. No, I'm saying Texans should. Mm-hmm. Get get, a, get getting, a left tackle. Yeah, couldn't hurt. And the, they got to go lineman, lineman, lineman first three. Just rounds. draft only lineman. Yeah, realistically, like you can't hurt at this point. Well, maybe and they maybe need secondary, secondary as well. Alternate. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Draft's a while away, though. You got a lot of time to prep if you just start to go in tank mode. But the the Giants, I'm not saying that they're back or anything, but fuck, it was good to get a win. It yeah. was good to be there, especially when I didn't I didn't trust them at all. I didn't, I didn't think they were going to do anything. So my whole goal the rest of the season is just to be pessimistic as shit going into every week, <laughs> assume that they're going to lose, and then hope hope that they uh, they they just make they prove me wrong. Yeah, but it's hard to be pessimistic. Like even the next time you guys play Dallas. You gotta feel good every time you play Dallas when you know their quarterback can't throw for two hundred yards. Uh, he fucking just beat us last week, so yeah. But he didn't throw for two hundred. Again, still beat the Giants. Just, just stack the fucking box with nine players every time. Play one on one twice on the outside. He's not gonna hit the guy even if he gets open. Yeah, I don't know. I, it made me happy coming home seeing Dallas sucking, but after they beat my team the week before, I couldn't really talk a bunch of shit. Yeah, fuck Dallas though. Fuck Dallas. Also, uh, before the Giants game, we had to start off my uh, Sunday morning fantastically. West Ham played Chelsea. Chelsea five like uh, like five straight games in the Premier League. Hadn't not had a win. Had won every single fixture they had played. So like obviously they're gonna steamroll West Ham. Wrong, wrong. Not today. Not that Sunday. West Ham was like bitches. You ain't scoring a fucking goal on us. We had a clean sheet. Nil nil. Now I know it's a fucking tie, but hey. That's a that's a two game point streak, and where I'm from, we like to call that a streak. Woo, 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 yeah. Uh, also, I don't know if you know this, Pat, but they're also playing in a Carabao Cup, the English League Cup game right now. Don't care about it. Five Boom. nil, five nil, beating Macclesfield. Oh, eight nil. Excuse me. Just re, uh, just just reset right here. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Tell them who we're playing though. Macclesfield Town, the English. <laughs> Football League Cup. Hey, Winchesterton Fieldville. You only play the people in front of you right now. You only play the people in front of you. I don't even know who Grady Diane Ghana is, but he just got two goals. So big fan, big fan now. Half of the people on that team also work at the local supermarket. Hey, hey, we're up eight nil. We're up eight nil. Pat, I don't know. Uh, Robert, can you can you pull out the stats? We put out the um, Stop Hammers Time shirts. It was a little over a week ago, and I want to say it was the week that um, we got our first dub, right? Was mm-hmm. it not the week we beat Everton? It was. We're about to go 2 0 oh, 1. They stopped, and it's been hammer time. It was just like, they were like, whoa, we're losing. Stop. It's hammer time, bitches. And like, oh, that, okay. I don't want to take credit for West Ham turning their fucking season around. Kind of like they did last year when we hopped on board. Remember that? Remember when they mm-hmm. were in the relegation zone? 
And then you need to start tweeting at the team and get somebody to pick up one of them shirts. Dude, we got it. We just oh, send them. We just send them shirts. Hey, they sent you a fucking kit. Oh, maybe you should send them a shirt. Fuck yeah, that's what we're gonna do. From, from America's official West Ham. I mean, we've already podcast. got a stone there somewhere. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's been been built yet or added. I would maybe assume we, in dude, the champion, the Chicharito, Victory Plaza. If we can get Chicharito oh, to wear the shirt, that would be absolutely loco. Oh my god, think, I'm a big big it, big fan of Marco and Art. I'm an Artovich, so I'm hoping he could rock it though. But think about it, if we got Chicharito to wear that. And put oh, it on his Twitter. That, we'd instantly like we'd crash number the one servers. Hispanic podcast of all time at Cause, that point because you time. know like then we'd sell like two million of them in fucking Mexico. Ooh, and they'd be like, "Wow, I get that. To- I totally get that MC Hammer reference." Stop, Tiempo para la Hammers. Is that what it would say? Oh, we could no, make a Spanish version. We could make a Spanish version. We could. <laughs> Man, I just stop. It's Chicha time. Ooh. And that'd be our next one after that, even though he hasn't really played in a while. Oh, wait, did you say Chicha time or it's Chichi chi- time? Chicha. Okay, because I was like, Chicha. Chi- chicha. Like, chicha. Chichis is titties. Oh, well, can't I mean, say that. We can. We can. I mean, I wouldn't be upset. I don't think anybody's going to be upset if it's Chichi time. I wouldn't no. be, I'll tell you that much. But uh, so up 8 0 right now. Not to brag, but pretty much we have just we've shifted their entire season and turned it around. I don't want to say that like we've already done this for uh, another franchise, but there was a baseball team here in H Town that had never won a World Series. We put out a shirt last year, only won World Series since then. So like, what we have here is just the power of sports. And ESPN can brag about it all they want, but ESPN can't prove with statistics that they have sold shirts that have turned around team seasons. And now, like, if it happens once, I get it. Maybe it's fluky. Happens twice. Pat, is there any doubt that this is... Well, I'd say that's definitely a correlation. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Yeah. There's, a, there's one common thread, and it's us. Now all we got to do is, as soon as I get my Paskers shirt in, season turned around. <sighs> Mm. Do you even have a Giants shirt? I, I do. It was a limited edition one because oh, no, nobody no, else no. really wanted it. It says gravy, but it's in the Giants font. <laughs> it's pretty great. I was going to wear it to the game, but I didn't. I wore my Eli, uh, Easy E t-shirt. It was it was very. I was trying to be subtle Giants fan. It was just a gray shirt, had blue Eli with his two trophies, said Easy E on it. And I was like, you can you can laugh at it at least if you're a Texas fan. Like, <laughs> like the rapper. I get it. And also, Eli's kind of a troll on anybody anyways. Because, like, you can't really get mad over Eli Manning. Can we have a uh, Halloween shirt where it's just that Eli face where he's like, ah! If you can get Eli to sign away his rights, then yes. Oh, that's right. So that's dude. a problem. That's a problem. But, uh, hey. You can just do the silhouette of it. Also, I'd like to just announce final time, West Ham, Macclesfield Town, 8-0. We're moving on, boys and girls, to the, the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Manchester Woo! United didn't move, around, move along, and we're playing them 6-30. Also, if you want to come hang out with us, let me buy you Ironworks. They're going to be at pitch 25 this Saturday because it's a 6.30 game, so Nick's Place doesn't open early for the early games. 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday. Now, you want to talk about Rowdy. 6.30 a.m., watching soccer, that's what I'm talking about. Irish coffees? Uh, I don't know what they I've never been to pitch 25 yet. Never been to pitch 25. Well, just coffee that you have. I mean, to... obviously, you put booze in it. Yeah. I would assume just beer. I'll probably stick with beer. I've been going Bloody Mary. Go one Bloody Mary, get, well, you got to. get you started, and then you go into the beer. Yeah. Which is pretty great. We'll see how it works there. But it's a 6.30 a.m. kickoff at Pitch 25, and it's on Walker Street in Houston. Go look it up. It's Brian Ching, former Dynamo Players Bar. Pitch 25. Bayou Ironworks. Come watch the game with us, guys. It's going to be dope. Uh, also, I had the week off of work, and then I've just been playing a lot of FIFA because I got that uh, the pre-order. So that's pretty much where I've been, buddy. I'm trying to look up if there's an official beer sponsor of West Ham. So see if there's a specific beer you should be drinking. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to wait We're doing some while research. I, while we're doing going. research. All right. Uh, let me... Heineken. Oh, really? Heineken is. The, the official beer and cider partner. Because Heineken does have cider now. I did not know that. All right. Uh, let's, let me talk to you guys about Blue Apron Gang. It's the number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the country. You can get it all delivered right to your door by going to blueapron.com slash PTG. They're going to send you a bunch of ingredients, tell you what to do with them, and then boom, you're going to have a meal to eat in about 30 minutes or less. If you order from blueapron.com slash PTG this week, you get some spicy beef and ganache with zucchini. Zucchini. So, I mean, it's ganache, Pat. I'm pretty sure I'm the food expert here. It's, you could get some uh, chicken and brown rice bowls, Moroccan-style couscous bowls, creamy 
pesto cavatelli, soy glazed chicken thighs, French bread pizza, seared salmon over faro, and pork chorizo. Burgers, all of them look delightful. I would definitely order right now if I were you. Like I said, you can get it all by signing up at blueapron.com slash PTG. That's blueapron.com slash PTG. You're going to get $30 off of your first order and free shipping. And we're going to give you your first three meals for free at blueapron.com slash PTG. Blueapron.com slash PTG. Your first three meals for free and $30 off of your first order at blueapron.com slash PTG. Blue Apron, it's a better way to cook. A better way to cook. Want to know who their most random sponsor is? Uh, uh, is it a gold company? No. It's Experience Kissimmee. Their official destination partner. They're sponsored by Kissimmee, Florida. No, they do. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is so that? you know how like in soccer they just have like the rolling like ads? Like yeah. that's one of the ones that always pops up. And then like it's like standard gold or whatever is on their, their the side of it. Yeah. And then Betway is their big sponsor. Yeah, but like why Kissimmee, Florida? <laughs> People like, want, yeah. is there a big fucking market for people from West London? I think it was like Cardiff cities, Universal Studios. Cardiff cities, uh, like main sponsor. Hey, hey, knock it off. Cardiff city's main sponsor is uh, Visit Malaysia. And I, it's, I it's wonder like, if Arsenal what? is like Visit Boston, because you know, mm. John Henry, part owner. Oh yeah, yeah. Did not know that. I believe it's Arsenal. I think it's Liverpool. That's probably yeah. I mean Liverpool. So fuck Liverpool. Anyways, um, let's move along to our comeback kids segment, guys. This is yeah. our way to shoehorn kind of what's in the news. And uh, let's start off. We don't have too many this week, but they're all goodies. It's the comeback kid. The comeback kid. kid of the week. The comeback kid of the week. Bitch. Can I just say what my favorite beer is now? I think I've like decided that I've been buying this for like several weeks straight. Peroni. Yeah. It's Italian. And it's a it good says beer. Bira Superior, which I would assume in Italian means superior beer. I would think so. I'm not an Italianist, but I would assume that that's what that means in Italiano. Um, I'm a big fan. If you guys wanted to sponsor us. Yeah. At Pass Great Pod, hit us up. Let us know. I'm at Alex J. Middleton. Pat's at not Pat Dion. Robert's at Robert Barbosa 03. Hit us up. Let us know about some sponsorship opportunities. You know, we don't have a beer sponsor. And when we put together our own soccer team. Whew. We should just start tweeting at all the fucking breweries. Be like, hey, just we're looking like, for a sponsor. Let's get on board with us. Yeah. You want to well, get on board before this train starts rolling. Yeah. I uh, I got a quick comeback hit. To throw Bring it up. Just... Bring it up. ACLs. Ooh, it is yeah, ACL season. That, yep, ACL it season. It is ACL season. Everybody's, Jimmy Garoppolo. Everybody's just, tearing ACLs left and right. It's not necessarily even if you're tearing them. It's the question, could that have been an ACL injury? Yeah. I would just say, like, let's just say CLs in general are back. Mm-hmm. Cruciate cruciate li- ligaments yeah. are back because, like, Evan Ingram, MCL sprain. Yeah. You got a couple of guys I saw this week with MCL. and Was it a PCL sprain I saw? with Was it a punter that had a PCL sprain? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Did yes, he play the, the first week or the second week? Wait, what? ACL? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. That, that was, was good. good. I didn't know at all what he was doing yeah. right there. You motherfucker. Yeah. Bobby fucking jokes. With the jokes right I think, there. I think you should. You got to be worried about uh, Ingram because I'm pretty sure my MCL is what I messed up and it uh still ain't right. Yeah. That was a couple weeks before football started. But then I don't again, want to say he's actually going to get medical treatment right. for his. I was also going to say, like, also I think like he's an actual athlete oh. that like trains and like rehab stuff. I'm an where athlete too. You, nece- you I would I would argue you didn't necessarily do all of the correct rehabilitation. No, I iced it for two days and then stopped. Probably not exactly what you need to do to, to, to fight yeah. back from it. Yeah, but I'm saying he's probably still going to be out at least two to four weeks would be my That's guess. I saw, two, I saw three weeks is the timetable yeah. they assumed. He I mean, just, just off of what mine felt like. Cause, I mean, what I'm just way, saying is Brett way, Ellison. I have no idea if I sprained my MCL. That's a self-diagnosis mm-hmm. from what I've Googled. I, I WebMD'd it. Yeah. I'm Michael Scott. Actually, I didn't it. even WebMD it. I just Googled inside Don't, because of actually if you WebMD'd it, it's cancer. Yeah, it's knee cancer. <laughs> You're going to have to have your knee amputated, so. It's you can do it yourself, save the cost. Answer. There we go. Nailed it. Nice try. That was a good try. <laughs> but yes, CLs are cruciate cruciate ligaments, whether or not they're anterior or uh, minterior, <laughs> <laughs> which is obviously what MCL stands for. Why, why not women-terior? You're right. You're right. That's the WCL. 
the lesser known. It gets only uh, was it? It gets only a quarter out of every every tear is, is a WCL tear. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nailed it. So uh, yeah, CLs are back. Yeah, for sure. That's a good one. Good good addition right there. And that was just like a last second throw in one. Yeah, I thought about it like five minutes ago. Oh, Tiger Woods back, dude. Tiger's Comeback kid back. of the week. Now I was at a game on Sunday, so like I didn't. I didn't fucking Ooh. follow this. I saw on Saturday that he was he was up there. But was like first off, like it's wor- horrible weekend to pick to like be good again. You know, like you had you had golf going on before football season started. Why couldn't you do this then? It just passed dancing and he's actually doing a pretty good job dancing to this song right now. Wow I'm, and uh, it's actually it's it's baffling me right now i'm trying to stay focused i'm trying to to describe what's happening he doesn't too. know but he's just choir. he's just bouncing back and forth busy man going to work <laughs> was it starbucks shot Something commercial like that. yeah did you see the the video of the crowd following tiger yeah going to it was just it anarchy was approximately seventy five thousand people there that's what it seemed like. I, okay, I, I was about to say, I, no. I would say that doesn't no, seem like, like, that doesn't seem but official. But if you think about like technically the, it wasn't just this week that he's a comeback. Like it's the first way, week. But if Rose didn't birdie eighteen, he would have won the FedEx Cup for the year. Well, too. you know what I'm saying is, uh, if you're not first, you're last. So That's true. Until he got first, I but, didn't count it. But like only winning one As tournament and coming in second in the FedEx Cup. Dude, every golfer's butthole's got to be puckering right How now. How many Perkins waitresses did he fuck after that? Though? That's well. The that big one girl question. came up and kissed him. Like he's so he's got a mystery girlfriend. All right, all right. I mean, but uh, te- or uh, I'm big. I'm always I'm always gonna be a tiger guy. Always yeah. gonna be a tiger guy. One because I could probably name like seven other golfers, but like Tiger is the go-to guy. You know, you care Bring about back that Tiger guy. That guy's PGA cool. Tour. I I agree. Yeah, I agree. And also, like, let's just add a level where your wife can chase you with the golf club. That's true. That you're in a car. Dude, Phil tweeted yesterday that uh, he was playing with Tiger. He said Tiger's swing's looking like better than it's ever looked, and he yeah. asked him if he could get a stroke aside when they play on Thanksgiving. So Phil's gonna get fucked when those guys know. play. If Tiger is just in prime Tiger mode, yeah. Uh-oh. But also, like, they're such competitors. Like, they're gonna bring out the best in each other. And like, like, yeah, it's what do they call it? Match play when it's just hole for hole. So like, you can like. I don't know. I've only played Golden Tee so many times. <laughs> yeah. I like that, like, we're breaking down. Well, actually, what I think is, uh, listen, this is like, we don't fucking know shit. No. We don't play golf. But, like, in a match like that, like, you can fucking go into the woods eight holes in a row, but, like, all you got to do is just win one at a time. So, like, it's not, you know, Tiger can't go up three strokes on him. It's just hole by hole yeah. by hole. So, like, I think it, I'm not going to fucking pay for it, but. I'm going to probably watch it illegally. <laughs> Duh. On Thanksgiving. Yeah, right. Let us be thankful for Torrance. <laughs> we gotta be thankful for something. It's it's gonna be on Reddit somewhere. I don't want to brag as a golf hardo or anything, but I did hold the course record at my college apartments. Shout out Villas on Sycamore on the China course with the Great Wall. I held the Top Golf or not Top Golf, the uh, Golden golf? Tee Golden Tee course record. Don't remember uh, what it was. Remember I was up there right up at the top. It was AJM. So Golden Tee was such a dick. great game. Yeah, we had it for free in like our little like uh, like hangout area, and we would just go. That that'd be all we did. Man, fuck you. I don't have any cool shit like golden that. Golden Tee. We had Big Buck Hunter was the other one. So when you're waiting to play Golden Tee, you just play some Big Buck Hunter, shoot some fucking caribous, and you're good. When I think of Golden Tee, I also think of the old NHL hits game. Because at Baseball USA, when my brother was playing a game in the lobby, they had Golden Tee. And then they had, remember the old arcade NHL yeah, hits? Yeah, yeah. they showed the video that just flashed on the screen of just people being absolutely fucking mm-hmm. murdered on the football field. It was basically ha- mur- half of hockey, them were hockey. just John Lynch highlights. Yeah. Oh, the good old days. So, um, yeah, Tiger Woods is the comeback kid this week. That's a pretty obvious one. Ooh, also also a good comeback kid is uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos. Now, I don't know if you know who Little Xan is. Unfortunately, I do. All right. I've now, never listened to any of his shit. I've just seen him, and I know I hate him. Little Xan is, I want to say it's Miley Cyrus' like brother, <laughs> stepbrother. Is that true? Uh, or are we just making up stories here wait, on the spot? Lil Xan Miley. Alex Googles things during the podcast. Noah Cyrus. And Lil Zan. Oh, it's like her, her sister's boyfriend or something, I think. Something like that. Yeah, that was her sister's boyfriend. Yeah. man. Her, that, wait, her sister was named Noah? Yeah. What? Yeah, they're a stupid family. Okay. So he yeah, went into the hospital... Yeah. Because he ate too many Cheetos, like flaming hot, hot Cheetos. Cheetos. 
Now, like, I am not a big flaming hot Cheetos guy. Yeah, I've never understood the fascination. Emma is. Emma has eaten a lot of flaming hot Cheetos. But I have seen regular Cheetos are just perfect. I think so too. I don't need to puffy have like added crunchy. spice. I prefer crunchy, but puffy's delicious poofs. too. Cheeto poofs, Cheeto poofs, fantastic. Cheeto poofs. I love my cheesy poofs. Uh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Uh, no, yeah. no, we can't. We can't get lost in this. We can't get lost in this. But flaming hot Cheetos are just what. New episode of South Park tonight. Oh, but it's also the finale of Big Brother, so maybe new episode of South Park you watch tomorrow or DVR and then watch after tonight. After you listen to Passing Your Bro. Probably not. Well, whatever. I'll probably catch the the mm-hmm. Big yeah. Brother tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Well, we South Park's wh- been a big part of my we life. We know where your alliance is. Well, live South Park's right been now. a big part of my life for twenty years. Well, have you watched them all live? No. Uh, no. probably a good eighty-five no. percent of them. Not all of them, though. Ah, uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos, though. They're back because they can send you to the hospital, guys. Ugh. I've seen a lot of people eat a lot of Flaming Hot Cheetos and yeah. never go to the hospital. Yeah. Little Zane's just a bitch. Like, yeah, you're rap. Rap is just talking about, like, how hard you are, isn't it? I guess. And just... Like, bro, if you can't you take Flaming Hot Cheetos, how are you going to take a bullet when you get on the streets, bro? I wish he'd take. You're a, a little white kid. You're never gonna last in the streets. You're Pac a- would just bury you. Pac was gonna. Pac would. Have, Pac would have laughed at this dude. Like I would take Little Wayne in a fight over this oh, guy. Little Wayne, by the way, he's not a comeback kid yet, but he's a future comeback kid. Because I don't know if you saw that Friday he's got an album dropping. Wasn't he supposed to drop that album like two weeks ago? But it's dropping on Friday because it's his birthday. Yeah, but like- it's the Carter Five though. Uh, this is future comeback that. kid talk that we're. That's not a comeback kid yet. <laughs> but he did that. Whole, yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that I will be releasing an album for you on my birthday. And if you don't know when my birthday is, Wikipedia does. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So thank Zane's you very bitch. much. I will be putting an album, The Carter Five, TC Five, on my birthday. Look it up on Wikipedia. Thank you very much. So I'm going to get drunk and listen to Lil Wayne this weekend. That's I am so fun. excited. Lil Toon Chi, baby. All right, so uh, Lil Zan's a bitch. Flaming Hot Cheetos. But just Flaming Hot Cheetos, like, that, the bullets take down rappers. That's what we talk about. Like, we talk about how thuggy you are, not how, like, oh, I went to the ER for my Flaming Hot Cheetos. And my hoes all suck my dick, yo. Z- I don't know. That was bad. That was really bad. Was I was better just trying. Than him. It was, I don't know. I didn't have a hoodie on. But, uh, yeah, he's a fucking idiot. He looks like a moron. He gets taken down by Cheetos next. He's, he's the opposite of Flamin' Hot, if you fuck, ask me. Fuck everything about that guy's existence. Flamin' Hot, baby. It's not Flamin' Hot. You he's, can't be Flamin' Hot at all. He's ice cold. If it takes you down, he's ice cold. For sure. There we go. I like that. Yeah, what if we he's, 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 I, eat like ice chips from now on instead of Maybe his name Cheetos. should be Little IV now. Ooh. Little bitch. Little bitch. Hey, 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 there we go. All right, all right, we're done here. Yep. Uh, moving on, Bill Cosby. <laughs> the the, the Jello at the jig with the cars. Man, we're good at that. The, the Jello. You know where they serve a lot of Jello? Prison. Prison. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is pretty good for him because so that's I, where he's going. I guess like that. Like he's gonna die, right? Uh, maybe not. People keep going. Oh, he's gonna die. Okay. Well, I don't think he's even gonna serve three years. It's he got three to ten years. He's old. He'll get out How old in is less he? than three years. He's like 74, I think. I bet I he's got like cataracts. 71, 74. Yeah, he's like blind. Pneumonia. Yeah, like he's blind. Like they're not, like, he, he's, they're going to let him out because that's what the fucking justice system does. They're going to let him out. He's, I, he's just going to die. He's going to die. I don't think he's going to see. Like, I, be surprised. I bet he dies be within like the next two months. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if he, like, ne- Future if they, news they, last they, week should have called him. him. If he gets, like, a medical exemption to not go into prison, which would be fucking ridiculous. Look, I can't go in the prison because the jello's not as good as it is outside of the prison. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, he's 81. Sorry, I said something. He's trying to say the jello's not as good inside the prison as outside. Sir, that's not a real reason to, I hope, uh, to do that. I hope they do send him to prison, and I hope he gets raped. He won't, though. He's going to have his own little area. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he'll have his own. And plus, like, if he goes to prison, like, he's Bill Cosby. Dudes in the pri- in prison are going to fucking love him because he's Bill Cosby. I mean, OJ was loved in prison. Yeah. This is Bill Cosby. Like, a lot of dudes that are in prison now, because, you know, it's a lot of young guys and shit, they probably grew up watching the fucking Cosby show. Most people did. Yeah. The Cosby show is still running. I don't know if you know that. 
Like, there's still the Cosby show, like, blocks on random TV channels. <laughs> yeah, the TV channels that are like, well, we're not getting any viewers, but if we run the Cosby show, we, we might, might get a couple. And we could get talked about. Because nobody so. else is running them anymore, yeah, and true. people still want to watch it. Because it was still a good show. Like You what could he, just run, like, that and Dukes of Hazard nonstop. What other shows? Go? Oh, Roseanne. Just run Roseanne. Oh, okay. So I've, uh, I'm have i not trying to just interrupt, but I'm interrupting. Mm-hmm. But uh, so Emma and I were behind on Modern Family, and we had like the, the last six or seven episodes of last season. I'm like five seasons behind. To catch up. Well, we just kept, we were like brand new to Modern Family, like a couple years Great ago. Great show. So good. It's so well written. And we were finishing last season, and it's all like, lead, like all the commercials that we're fast forwarding through are like, coming on Friday. It's America's favorite sitcom is back, and it's got Roseanne on it, and it's talking about like what will America think? And I'm like, oh boy, you guys. No, it's not Roseanne. It's the Connors, though, right? Right, but like the call, the show is called Roseanne, and so like it's like playing the music, and it's like promoing like the very first, the fail. very first comeback episode. It's like, oh boy, this is gonna take the world by storm, and then it is gonna crash, and. Burn. It's like like it is going to crash and it's going to burn so magnificently. I want to say it's going to get canceled after three episodes, but like people are going to watch it just it's to support. It's back already. It, they already did it, and then they they. It's back already. Well, no, they already ran that one season of it. No, no, of Roseanne. Right but now, and now it's like Connors. a knockoff. It's the, the Connors without right. here. So, but like the commercials so like were sure, for I'm, Roseanne, and it was just like funny because it was like hindsight. It was like <laughs> this is gonna go horribly for oh, you guys. Oh, because you were watching like not a yeah. DVR it was thing like or, months okay. ago. Oh, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. And that was why I was like, man, the world wasn't ready for this, and it really wasn't. It wasn't. Well, no, no, it was. Like, who Everyone thought, watched it, but who she sent thought out Twitter one and like tweet. Xanax were gonna take it down. She just Lil Xan. She she sent out fucking there he goes Planet again. of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> while talking about a black woman and it just ruined it which sucked because it was the highest rated show on television and it was fucking good like I watched I it watch like it. dude like you gotta go back and watch them cause you're like holy fuck it's actually really I didn't watch funny. the original ones what? <laughs> oh it just, it wasn't my man, thing dude, it wasn't it was my so thing. good dude John Goodman I mean I get it like, I was you, a little you could, young you though could, you could even watch the new ones just for John Goodwin cause he's fucking John Goodman John- did I say Goodwin? Goodwin. Sorry, yeah. I got Goodwin in my head because my brother was bitching about him all week because Jimmy Garoppolo went down. Marquise Goodwin. Marquise Goodwin, Goodwin down yeah. Down. But he's so But yeah, dude, right. it, was, it was fucking great. It was so really funny, well written, and like they didn't go like too hard to the right or too hard to the left. Like, I mean, obviously some of the characters are written to be right and left. I mean, everybody but they thought they did. Common fucking everybody thought they did. Shit. And it was, was just it like really the well Muslim written. neighbors. They're like, well, they're not so different. Yeah, at the end, they're like, oh. They're fucking terrorists. They're moving in, and the daughter's like, "They're not terrorists." And then, like, they help him out. And they're like, "Hey, can we steal your Wi-Fi password?" <laughs> that Boom. was that was the whole episode. Boom. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, Bill Cosby says the three to ten years. Uh, I don't think he's gonna. I think he's gonna die pretty soon. Yeah. Like I, I think he'll die before Betty White does. Yeah. Going back I mean, well, Betty, uh, and correcting my future well, news look at predictions. What he looks like at 81 and Betty White looks like at 99. Like Betty White still looks better than Betty. She still might go, who knows? Gosh, According to future she's... news, it's going to happen. I'm going to cry that day. Like, future news I it love Betty says White. it's going to happen. Did you watch the Golden Girls this week, you motherfucker? I didn't. I, didn't watch, I, I told you I got FIFA. You know, what else am I going to do? All right. And our final comeback kid now, who added sex robots to the list? I did. Robert, of I, I, course why didn't you? Yeah, of course. Bastard. Robert's like, oh, I'm the lowdown. I don't talk about that kind of stuff. So, wait, guy. hold on. Are you going to give us a review of the brothel next week? Uh, you Ooh. know what? Wear a GoPro that's camera? That I could try. Why not? I, I, that's just weird to me. You wouldn't try that? No. I would only try it if I was the first customer. Yeah. I would never use a used sex robot. But would you wear a condom, though? Not if I'm the first one. But would you wear a condom, like, if you were using another one? Like, it's like a hooker. But, like, if I'm the You're not the first one to use it. But, well, that's what I'm saying. If I'm the first... I would only do it if I was the first. And even then, I don't know if I did. I don't get it. It's a lot. I don't don't know. I've never wanted to fuck a robot. But you give me the option. Like, I'm not saying I'm not going to eventually. Like, if you give me the option long enough, I'm going to probably do it. Like, may- maybe I would do it just to get, like, the publicity of being the guy who did it. And I could be like, yeah, it's fucking weird. But you should probably check out my podcast. Oh, that's a good one. But, like, Robert, also, yeah, you have to do also this. forever then, you're known as the guy that fucked a, f- a rubber sex doll. You're not going to be the only guy, though. <laughs> no, but, like. Believe me. Like, there's, like, there's a, like, it's a brothel, right? Yeah. 
It's a fucking brothel yeah. that they're doing. But it's not because there's one guy that wants to do it. It's because there's like hundreds of thousands of guys that are like, I want to fuck a robot. I want to fuck a yeah, robot. Yeah, because guys now. are sick bastards. I mean, I'm not arguing with you. Who on will that. fuck anything? Right. But just, I, it's like, like, did you ever fuck a blow up doll? No. I never fucked a blow up doll. Robert, I'm guessing you didn't either. Nope. Like, I never knew anybody that willingly admitted to fucking a blow up doll, but it's just like, that's a lot of cleanup. Like, I never used a flashlight. Did you use a flashlight? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. I never, never like. Those cost money. I mean, they cost money, but we have one up at the station. First off, like, one, I don't want to be the guy that opens it because then it's going to be like, Alex obviously took this home. We still have one in, like, in, in, like, the studio. But, like, dude, your next, fr- your next friend to get married, you have to be like, I have to have this so I can give it as a wedding present. But it's just going to come back and it's going to look like I used it. Like, it's not going to, like, if I can't get rid of that without it looking like no, Alex you, wanted it. No, you, this take, for you, take a vi- you take a video of you presenting it to him unopened. It's just then it seems like I'm covering tracks. Okay, well you know what? People at your station probably already think you're weird anyway. That's true, but I like like a flashlight seems like so much cleanup, mm-hmm. and it's like I want the deed to be done, and it's over with. Give me a couple Kleenex and we're good. I think you know, I think it'd be fun one time, and then you throw it away because you're like I don't want to have to clean my. But if it's a fucking robot. Dude, think about this too. You're you're fucking like a something. fucking robot. Somebody's using that robot again. That's like, what is it? Is it clean itself? You're you're making something that's motionless and making zero. But sound. apparently, it's supposed to be like legit though. Like, Robert, what do they say? Like, what are like like how real are these robots? I think supposedly to be like really like life looking, like fembots, like from yeah. Maybe Austin Powers, minus the machine gun. They can respond to you. Yeah, they can talk. Maybe. Like, do we really want to be shooting? How is your our- day? No, no. This is this. How is, was the game? This is how Skynet starts. We don't want to be shooting our DNA into things that can fucking talk. That's a good point. Dude, That's gonna, a, it's gonna ooh. meld. Isn't oh, that what we already do. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're <laughs> yeah, right. But they're humans. <laughs> Robert made a good point. <laughs> But they just make babies though. Like you, like that's a baby. You gotta put it, pay child support for eighteen years. After eighteen years, if you find out it's not yours, you write a song about it. That's how it works. But like with this, like, are we talking like Men in Black kind of thing where they take over your like brain at a certain point? Like, do you ever play Fallout? Is this a synth kind of situation right here? Like, are they half robot, half you? I don't know. How long is this? Like Voldemort. Get? Remember Voldemort when like Harry could see into Voldemort's eyes. And Voldemort can see into Harry's eyes. Is this what's gonna happen? But you're gonna, like, holy shit! Is that a robot? And it's just like a robot having sex with random dudes. And you're like, no, 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 no. I came once in this thing. Why is this me now? How long until we get a story about a guy developing a sex addiction from these? Oh, like the, day fuckballs. one, day one, or like day two, or like super, uh, like herpes becoming your thing because it's not clean properly. Oh my and so God. it's just all like, everything's mixed. Oh, who's gonna be the first person to lose their job because they didn't clean the vag of like a robot fuck toy? Rot, you think it's right. like something like that you can like refill or like take out like like how disposable you know, vaginas? Well, yeah. it's gotta be like Westworld. Have you seen Westworld where yeah. they just they like take them apart, throw them in that big room, and just like power wash them down? Like tss, done. All right, throw them back. It's like they didn't clean any of that. They just hosed it down. There's still shit flying around in there. That's gross. And like once it gets like past like. It's a primer or whatever. Do you recycle it and make another one to get recycled? That's a good point. Robot? Like a re, uh, what, what do they call it? Refurbished? It's got to be green. Get a refurbished <laughs> sex robot. And it's like sometimes when it's jerking you off, it jerks you off side to side. Sometimes it tries to break your dick in half. But other than that, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. <laughs> one out of ten times is bad. But other than that, so it's solid probably, and reliable. What, what is it supposed to open? Friday? Uh, I don't remember exactly when. I don't but know. How is it not sex trafficking? How is that not sex trafficking? Because they're not real. Okay, it's, so it's, like, it's an item. All right, like then, like what's the next thing? It, are we it, gonna it, have like are we gonna have like it's sex a high, robot little kids? It's a high so tech like if you want to if you want to fuck little kids, then you can go fuck a little robot version of a kid. Is that the same thing? Like how is this not like rape? The robots have not agreed to do any of this. You got to get consent. Once they put AI in the robots, you got to get consent from the robot. Like, hey, robot, can I do this to you? This do like, they like? Is yes, that really Alex. the thing? Probably. Probably that's what that will happen. You got to get consent. It's from just the robot. like it's gonna it's gonna get weird. It's going to get weird. Like, I'm telling you, there's going to be little kid fucking robots just and there's going to be weird dudes. And it's like, come on. Just legalize prostitution. I mean, I agree. I agree. Legalize prostitution and marijuana and let's just make so much goddamn money in this state. You probably could. Like, fuck. Sex robots, guys. We're in that time. We're living in the future. 
Like, who would have thought sex robots before, I mean, flying cars. Yeah, sex robots definitely before flying cars. You're right. I'm crazy. We knew that was going to happen. Yeah. We didn't want to admit it, but we knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Wow, what a time to be alive. A male sex robot is easier to use than a female Because he's a dildo. Robot. Yeah. It's just a dildo with a body. Like, what, what do they have? Those, like, uh, those Will it fucking machines, right? Will it vibrate? Yeah. The vibrate. robot? It's probably. Like, it just, yeah, it probably, like, goes in the girl and it's like, zzzz, and they're like, oh, my God, I'm done. That's probably exactly what it's like. What if they're, like, super realistic <laughs> and, like, halfway through it just goes, you're on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you just not start laughing? What or, if the robot's or, laughing? It's like, ha, ha. Or what if they can't ha, actually ha, ha. talk and they just have like a microphone in their mouth that like there's just some dude in the next room going, oh, "That's yeah. creepy." Nobody would oh, use that. Oh yeah. Nobody would oh, use that. No, but they don't tell them. It's just it's like uh, the girl robots are just like those like sex hotline chicks, but they gave them a job now. <laughs> hey baby, put that in me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh uh, uh, uh. It's glitching. It's glitching. It's one, glitching. One nine hundred. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's broken. What's up? What's up with this one? This well, one's I malfunctioning. Think, I think that one just thought it became a rapper. Mm. You couldn't tell. I mean, you, we're gonna have to have some guinea pigs in this first one. But where is it? It's here. It's, here it's in, in Houston. Houston. Don't know exactly where, but it is going to be here in Houston. Hey, if anybody wants to go check it out, give us a review. We are Please open Please, someone to give reviews. us a review. Like, we will have you on the podcast. Phone call. Hold on. Who who do we think? Matthew Hadamia. <laughs> Dude, Hadamia is like, he's the first person that popped in my head, too. We know we know what you want, buddy. Yeah. It's okay. Hey, go do it, and then be the guinea pig for PTG. We love you. We love I, you, buddy. I love that we both would be that. Yep, Hadamia, he would Hadamia fuck Hadamia would be the guy who would volunteer to go do it, and then would go do it. Uh, but okay, so come back, kids. There were sex robots. That was our final one, huh? All right. Well, let me tell you guys about littleemshop.com. It's littleemshop.com. If you got a smelly car that's got you down, Little M Air Fresheners not only smell good, they look good too. They're made from paper and scented with essential oils, and their air fresheners are going to freshen up any space at all. They offer a variety of scents and unique designs. I personally like the rad that you're looking at right now. If you're looking at the video podcast, it's Miami Beach flavored. The rad design is my favorite, but my particular favorite is Fresh to Death. You can get that with the uh, Out of This World design right there. Uh, that's, that's my other one. That's the one I've currently got going on in my car. I had the rad one to begin with, but now I've got the Out of This World one because the uh, Fresh to Death scent smells to me like a fantastic little uh, little cologne right there. So definitely get it. It's only 2 bucks. And 50 cents we had. Uh, I do not have Twitter pulled up. Do you have Twitter to tell us, Robert, who bought some this week? No? Yes? No? No. All right. Well, we're working on that right now because we told you guys if you tweeted us out, we're going to give you shout outs. I'm pulling this up right now. It'll be fine. Everybody just bear with me for a second. It's going to be okay. Alex we're looks gonna up make tweets. This. Bum, bum. You can take the air fresheners to brothels. You Alex can. Ooh, is not ooh. Maybe pet. your sex robot is a little stinky and you're, you're like, ew, nasty. Tape. <laughs> yeah, you just put one of those on there and it smells better. Um, uh, Wait for it. We're almost there. Samantha White. Shout out to Samantha White. Um, for, I just wanted, I knew it was a Sam or a Samantha, but I was like, I don't want to say the wrong thing. And then her be like, what the fuck? I spent that money on you guys for this. She went to littlemshop.com. She also bought some PTG gear at pastorgravymerch.com. So she's a real MVP listener. She's our MVP listener of the week. Littlemshop.com. Get you the dopest air fresheners this side of the Mississippi. Little M Shop. Little EM Shop. Dot com. Those like the air freshers are 250. You can get five of them and you're fine. And they're gonna smell fantastic. And then when you go to the brothel, you're not gonna smell like Seth Ro- sex robot when you get home. A Seth robot is a robot named Seth that is a sex robot. It's a, it's a sex robot of Seth Rogan. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey Emma. And because uh, football season happens, you know the Colts right. goes on the back burner. I mean, yeah. I mean, there is a whole team or called the, the, the Colts, family. but it's not us. The family. Emma, but, uh, uh, just real quick. Now, Lil Xan, the rapper, went to the hospital for eating Flaming Hot Cheetos, and I was saying, I know Emma has, like, I've watched you on road trips, and then you just murder some Flaming Hot Cheetos. You've never been to the hospital for them. Uh, I can't eat that many at one time. But, like, you've eaten, I've seen you eat massive amounts of Flaming Hot Cheetos before. Yeah, they make me sweat. Like, I get it. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. 
But like, like, would you say you're kind of? Bags do you think it would take to send you to the hospital? It had to be over a period of time. Like that must have been the only thing he ate. But no, you got to go back to back to back. Like how yeah. many bags oh. do you think it would take? Like before it just destroyed your colon. Back to back slash bag to bag. Like it was just like just five murdered five bags. Oh. Like full size bags. Uh huh. That's a lot you know, of fun. We just got ourselves cheetos. a challenge, boys and girls. <sighs> if you can video yourself eating five bags of Flaming Hot Cheetos that and not dying, we but, will give you any items from the, the PTG store. Emma's super white, so her spice level might be lower than the normal person. She's so, actually got so a pretty. Little Zan, he's white. Yep. Um, yeah, he is. Yeah, but like. Was he allergic to them? No, because he said he crushes them all the time. Uh. My my theory is that he was just fucked up on Xanax and yeah. was just crushing like bag after. He bag said it wasn't because of drugs, though. Yeah, was of course it, he said that. Was it anaphylactic shock? They didn't really divulge. I don't know what that means. Like, did his throat close? Because like, so my sister no, has they said this it was thing. Like a stomach, like oh. it fucked up his stomach. My sister has this thing that she's allergic to chickpeas, but only if she works out after eating them. Like her throat. What closed the fuck up. is that? I don't know. It happens. Her throat. It's closed called up chickpea totally. workout. She had to epipen herself. Uh, it was bad. It was bad news bears. But if it was his gut, it must have only been in like no water, like just. I, I should probably buy an Cheetos. epipen. Just in case, yeah. it's always good to have. I mean, I'm allergic to bees, so like. Yeah, you definitely. Randomly be outside. I actually, um, we're just raising bees, car. so definitely get one. But also, like, I hate life, so. It's like, isn't that bad? What like, you're like, all of those memes. like all those memes. Like, is it worth it? <laughs> Can you work uh, it? <laughs> Put the thing down, flip it, and reverse it. I have to go piss. So if you guys want to start off not cool, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. Um, Here we go. Wait. Wait for it. Oh. Well, is he going to play the right sounder this week, guys? Yep. Not cool, man. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Dude, that's not, not, cool. not cool, man. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Do you want to lead it off or should I? Uh, you go lead it off. Okay, I'll lead it off. Well, my first not cool is Alex. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, he just decided, he completely forgot to send us the prep sheet until last night. Yeah. I'm, I'm at work and I'm sitting there scrolling through my emails and I was like, motherfucker. And uh, yeah, so Alex is stupid. Yeah, he's only been on vacation for like three days and he already <laughs> forgot how to podcast. I mean, I know he's had such a busy schedule <laughs> yeah. that he could forget the one thing he had to do this week. Uh, second not cool, I'm going to go ahead and just throw in the fucking tackle rule because it's bullshit for the NFL. Fuck you guys, you're screwing the Packers. Um, my final one, complications from surgery. Uh, I don't know how many of you people, like I know I always talk about country music. One of my favorite singers, Charlie Robeson. Uh, he's one of the biggest names in Texas country. He's a badass. He's been around for 25 years, something like that. Mm-hmm. He uh, he had like throat surgery earlier this year, and there was some complication with it, so he can't sing anymore, and he had to retire, which just sucks, like all around. Like, yeah, like he you know he's still a great songwriter, so he'll be able to do all that. I'm sure he produces and has his own label and all that stuff. But like selfishly, I never got to see him. So like it really sucks for me and just the dude was like universally loved. I know Matthew Hadamio was pissed about it or not pissed but gets heartbroken about it like me too. Hashtag me too. <laughs> it kind of sucks that you don't get to like retire on your own terms. Right, like it, it, it's a little bit like football when like you know you get re- you either retire or you get retired. Most guys yeah. get retired. Just like your entire life for twenty five years has been singing, and uh, it just gets taken away from you. It just it sucks, and that one hurt because I've so always been a big fan. He had uh, he had surgery on his throat, and there was like a complication from the surgery, and like he can't sing anymore. Oh, and it, just, it sucks. That's unfortunate. He, he's an awesome guy too. Like it's just, and I never got to see him. Forced into retirement a little early. Yeah, I mean, he probably wasn't early though. He could uh, could. How old is he? Fifty four. Fuck. Which, by the way, I didn't realize he was that old. I looked yeah. it up today. And like, like I said, he's been around for like twenty five years. He's about half. Um, all right, Robert, what you have is not cool. So you guys know the, like those parking barriers that kind of look like uh, speed bumps that stop you from like when you park from hitting the wall. Yeah. Like on the freeway? No, like on, on like in the no, parking no, lot. No, like in a, in a parking lot. The 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 space barriers, like the the concrete thing right there that they put at the end of a parking space so you don't pull forward into the next. Like the, the yellow ones. Yeah. Or well, white just ones. The, the great yeah. concrete like yeah, 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 things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So at my apartment. Complex specifically where I part, they don't have those there, and the pavement and the sidewalk it's level, 
So people will always park. They go forward and they'll park on the sidewalk and there's no room to walk. And it's super annoying. Mm. Like I've seen it multiple times where they're just they're just parking on the sidewalk because they've gone that far forward. Now, have you had this happen where you've gotten this gem? And like I'm not saying it's a gem because it's happened to me before. But it's not it's not okay, not this particular thing, but it's sort of so like sometimes like my the bottom part of my car will get stuck on something if I pull up too far and then you pull yeah. it back and it's like and yeah, I've had yeah. to like go get it corrected where they had to like screw back in the bottom part of the car because whatever that thing that blocks the water from getting up in like was just dragging. And so I'd drive around for like two days like, man, it sounds windy as shit outside. It's like, no, asshole. There's something dragging below your car. It's plastic. Mm-hmm. But uh, sometimes like if you have like a low rider car or a car that you've lowered down, if you park like that, then when you back up, it just kunk, 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 kunk. Have you gotten to catch that yet? Mm-hmm. I've had that before, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's kind of a nice little like, mm-hmm. fuck you. Like, you get to kind of like, you, I mean, you don't say it out loud, but in your mind, you're like, fuck that guy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, it's a, a little bit rewarding. Na, na, what are you doing? Low oh, right. Right. <laughs> no one should lower their cars. I don't. What is? That's, how has lowering your car ever helped you? Nope. Uh, I'm sure in the '90s in LA it helped you get a lot of pussy. Okay. All right. All right. But we were still doing it though. But like lifted trucks, well, like sure look douchey a lot of times. But like you can be like, well, when there was a flood, my lifted truck was able to get us out of this. Here's Good point. Thing. All you, right. You know, every time you drive by a super jacked up truck, like you're in those uh, small penis. If you drive by a low rider, should we all be like, dude, that dude's got a giant That dude is cock. just hung. Probably. <laughs> like that dick is hitting his knees. Or he loves that song, Low Rider. That's true. Yeah, that is not cool. Like, cause, like, where am I fucking supposed to walk? Do you ever just walk over the, like, walk on top of the cars? I should do that though. Do that. Use them as stairs. Yeah. If someone's leaning up against your car, will you like tell them to get off? Cause I could see from outside my window that people were leaning up against my car, and I really wanted to like yeah. just like put the alarm on my car. Oh, do it, off. do it, dude. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I wouldn't go out to people and say that, but like, if I could like remain low key enough, like, beep, 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 like that's like, there's nothing. Like, Ooh, hit the alarm. Right. There's nothing that brings joy to yourself like watching people scatter from your car when you can <laughs> just like, like, you know, like when you like you get your friend to look like in high school, you get your friend to look under the hood of your car. Like, hey, check and see if it's got beep. And you'd honk and then jump up and they hit their head. Like, ah, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> but like if you can get somebody else, especially somebody that you don't want on your car, like it's <laughs> leaning up because beep, 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 beep. I'm just worried. They, that- they, they set it off. Yeah. You just don't want to go confront them, and I get that. So, like, yeah, that's a safe one. I'm just worried. Like, I park there every day. They're going to know which car is. They're eventually going to find out who it is that's doing it. I don't know. Well, maybe they'll just stop leaning on your fucking car. But if you ever lean on other people's cars, I don't, like, that's a weird thing to do. No, No, I'm not going to lean on anyone's car. That's a weird thing to do. No, I don't touch people's cars if they're not, like, someone I know. Yeah. Like, Like, in high school, I used to put my dick on all of my friends' cars. Like, whenever somebody got a new car, like, they'd be like, hey, I got a new car. And I'd walk over, pull down my pants, and just, like, press my dick against their door. Because I thought that was hilarious. But, like, I'm not... He tried to fuck their door handle every single time. (laughs) No, like, I would literally just be like, oh... (laughs) Pat's been wanting sex robots for a while. (laughs) New car, right? Now my penis has touched it. (laughs) But, like, I wouldn't lean on a car. Man, those keyholes really fucked up my dick. (laughs) They really cut the shit out of them. Well, I squeeze it in, but then like, <laughs> I got horny and like I got stuck. Oops. Now my dick can unlock most houses. <laughs> it's a universal dick. <laughs> oh. But yeah, dude, that is annoying. Like Worst superpower of all time? Universal dick. <laughs> Well, because like you can fuck any woman though, right? Like everybody's got a vagina, you can really have sex with anyone. Yeah, but if it's a if it can unlock any door, that means your dick is really small and skinny. It's a tiny dick. But what if it's like a shape shifting dick? Ooh, like Quagmires. Right. Ooh, like that's, it's that's like, yeah, it could be convenient now. It could unlock any lock, but it could also like, you know, be very pleasurable. That's true. I would say it could be a blessing and a curse. Well, I was just saying like the universal key dick would be the worst superpower. If that was all it was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got locked into my car. Got you, bro. <laughs> And you just, Are you, you gotta, fucking my car? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, just to the left. Just to the left. <laughs> All right. Uh, my not cool, and I feel like I've definitely used this before as a not cool, but it's just these unnecessary over-the-top celebrations in baseball that we're having where it's like, I'm a Yankees fan. 
diehard Yankees guy. I don't think you should be able to fucking celebrate with champagne if you won a wild card. You should never be able to celebrate with champ. And this is me with the emojis in between every word. Do not celebrate when you win a wild card with champagne. It's a one game playoff. You will still probably lose to the fucking A's. 50-50. But still, fuck man. Like, I'm so sick of seeing the A's jumping up and celebrate. Like, and the fucking Astros last night, like my God, they act like they didn't have a clue. Like I saw people jumping up and down. Celebrating, they're like you, you we just cleansed the AL West. Fuck it, we knew we were gonna cleanse the AL West two yeah, weeks but ago. You know what? We, we, we also knew. lost a hundred games like four years ago, and then you won the World Series last year. So yeah. let's, let's, let's it's, it's a big, it's still back, a big fucking deal. Let's tone back the Dude, celebrations you, you, you know a little how bit. This to you? Let's tone it's back the celebrations a, a little bit. Long fucking season, man. Act like you, you've been there. You, you you've celebrate. been there though. You you were just there. Act like you've fucking been there. You celebrate it, when you from can. From the World Series champions. Also, it, we don't need people at a fucking party being like, Woo! Oh my god, we just clinched! We just clinched! But uh, also, all of these, like, we just clinched videos because I love looking at the fuckheads that just are like, but let me hold on and hold my phone around and just turn around 360 style, show everybody else that we're all celebrating because we're that excited. I'm that excited that I'm going to take in this moment through my phone. You know why? I'll, I'll explain to you why they still celebrate the wild card like they do. Because, dude, you're in the playoffs and you can win. You know who, who else? Gives a hold, shit? On, hold on, You know who else was a wild card? The greatest comeback story in the history of sports: the 2004 Red Sox. That doesn't fucking matter. They were a fucking wild That's tight. card. They, they did, the did they celebrate? Did they celebrate right right the when they won the wild card? Yes. Okay, but like they shouldn't. They should have celebrated when you made fucking the playoffs. when you have that fucking trophy in your hand at the end. If you go to the World Series. You're cool with you're. I'm cool with that. Dude, like, the baseball season is like, a long. It's so ass fucking season, dumb. And the po- like, if you win the divisional round, they're like, "Whoa, we're going to the ALCS. Let's champagne." No, we don't get champagne. You're wasting a lot of champagne, guys. Yeah, they this can is afford it. unfucking necessary. Act this like you fucking dumb. like the goddamn Yankees that have won 27 World that, Series. See, that's don't why need you don't to get it. Because you grew up rooting for a team that was there every fucking year and it was expected. Right. So when they win something stupid like a fucking wild card, that means you get to play one game. You don't think the A's deserve that fucking celebration? The A's that are never fucking there. Maybe I met Yankees. Put that shit away. Put that champagne on a fucking fucking cooler and use it when you win a fucking championship. Nobody gives a shit until you win a fucking championship. See, win a fucking championship. Get a fucking ring and then it matters. Nobody gives a fuck about division dumb, titles. Don't get it. This isn't the old Astros. Last year's Astros should be excited about a division title because they hadn't had shit until then. Now, it's like you have a fucking oh, World really Series shit. banner. You have a World Series banner in your fucking park right now. Shut the fuck up and celebrate when you win something that matters. Alex just did five minutes proving that he's not a baseball guy. Yeah, I'm with you, Pat, on this one. Yeah, you I'm just don't Pat get the sport, one. man. I don't... I, Dude, I get that the long ass season. Who gives a fuck? Win something that really matters. This is the guy that was just fucking celebrating West Ham winning a fourth round game <laughs> of the Don't Care About It Cup. I'm celebrating because it's our reason. We're the reason that they're winning. If we made t-shirts, when we made t-shirts last year and the Astros won the whole thing, I was fucking losing my shit because I was, it was our fault. It was because of us. Not our fault. It was, our, it was our, our fault that they won the World Series. Credit. It was our fault. We were responsible. Had we not made it. those, it would not have happened. Facts. Facts you just, only. You just don't get it. It's just stupid. To get to play one... Like, you could play one game and be done. You could be. Or you could win that game. How come in the, the NFL? The why in the, the NFL? The win the World why series? in the NFL do they not jump and down with like with champagne when you win because the, the NFL, NFC you East? You jump up and down, you tear an ACL, and then you're out for the rest of the uh, fucking year. Or, was it, how are you, is it Kendricks? What's his face from the A's or Angels? Howie Kendricks, the guy that was jumping up and down at home plate like two years ago oh, and tore his yeah, ACL. Yeah. Like, yeah, happens everywhere. Maybe a uh, risky time to do that then. I don't know. But then again, I guess the Angels are never going to go to the I postseason ever, so it doesn't uh, matter. The, oh, God, who was the kicker? It starts with a G. Grammatica. 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 Celebrating a fucking regular season. The Tampa Bay goal. Buccaneers. Martin, and then he had another brother. But, like, it's just... I, as a Yankees guy, I was just fucking like, really? Really, guys? Aaron Judge, really? We're going to open okay, see, up some no, champagne? You guys should be uh, fucking celebrating it because you haven't been shit the last couple of years. They went to the ALCS last, last year, year, bro. The year before, how were you? The year before I'm that, saying, how were you? The year before like, that, how were you? 
So last year they're pretty yeah, good. This a, year they limped into the playoffs despite having quite a few injuries. There and they realize that they can still get hot. They've got a lot of talent. So fucking win it and then celebrate. I don't need celebrations when so you haven't won shit. You have not won anything. A wild card is nothing. Your a opinion, wild card doesn't count. In your opinion, you don't ever celebrate anything in baseball. You have to be a miserable cunt until the World Series. And only if you win, you get to celebrate. At least take away the wild card celebrations. Like See, what now, do you now like? He's okay, the okay. Argument. So what are these? What are these shirts that they're that like the Yankees and the A's or where like the catch the postseason instead yeah. of like it used to be like AL division or like yeah, West champs be, and now the fucking Sox have stolen that shit from you because we're better. Go fuck yourself. No, it's not that. It's not just them it, and it, fuck it, them it, because they seem down. like a perfect team. That David <laughs> Price doesn't know how to pitch in the postseason. <laughs> I bet he sucks. But Chris That's Sale is going to struggle. I bet they're still going to probably lose the Astros. Sale's not going to struggle. They're kidding? probably still going to lose the Astros. Probably still going to lose the Astros. Uh, probably. I would say probably, but only because the Astros have an absolutely ridiculous bullpen right now. And then they're going to be like, well, wow, what a, what a great said, season though, for the nothing. The Astros have a fucking hole in the middle of the lineup because Correa still can't get it going. It's Correa. It's all right. Really not. It's Correa. No. And, <laughs> and there's been a civil war going Maybe on. Maybe this first thing is Shang Shui. <laughs> but it's Carlos, it's so it's Korea. Or Korea. God damn it! <laughs> and I won. Alex, I, I just... fucking hate you <laughs> so much right now. If you celebrate a one-game playoff with a champagne bath, go fuck yourself. I'm about to pull a Chris and just walk out. Do it. No. Because I like being here. <laughs> there we go. It's just, it was unnecessary. All right? And Astros people... So was your birth. Not true. Astros people talking shit right now about winning the AL West. You knew you were going to win the AL West. You should have blown out the AL West. You should have had a 10-game win. You should have won the AL West by 10 no, games. Okay, okay. You realize how wrong you are. You realize our record's better than last year. That's tight. The other teams were just better as well, too. You can't get mad at us. But the teams having... last year suck. Yes. So you can't say we should have blown them out because they are better teams this Don't year. Don't have the slumps in the middle of the year. And you would have had it. You we had, had just to worry. as bad as slumps in the middle of the year. Well, you it realize... was recent. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Rec- I'll... Recent bi- well, recency bias. I'm not going to pull it up right now because I'd have to find it. I'll show you after the Most teams that have won 100 games in, in MLB ser- uh, like, like, like how, in, like in MLB like history, most teams have three or four runs during the season where they go like 21 and 6. Like eighteen and five, shit like that. But then for the rest of the season, they play like five hundred ball. It's all about teams that put runs together, and that's what the Astros do. That's how you win a hundred games. For the most part, it's a long fucking season. There's a lot of ups and downs. You know how you derail you that? All the time. I celebrate with fucking champagne for shit that doesn't need celebrating. You know what? Back on the bandwagon. Future news: Shit, Con Barkley breaks his goddamn ankle because he's at a bar yeah. and he had a he sip of champagne. Do, he would never. And do that. somebody spilled I'll champagne tell you, I'll tell you and he fucking Saquon, slipped on. I'll tell you what Saquon doesn't do. He doesn't, when he gets a wild card spot when the Giants are the, the sixth team <laughs> in the you, NFC playoffs, you, you think the when one, you, Saquon you, doesn't you jump up and down with fucking champagne, I'll tell you that much. Well, he won't have an opportunity to do that this year. I'll tell you, he doesn't do it. He's not that kind of guy. I hope you guys enjoy having Kyle Lofka as your quarterback next year. Luetta. Get his name right, dick. He's I don't a, need to. He's a spider. <laughs> Richmond. He's from Richmond. Good spot. I don't know why that's a sound that I came up with. <laughs> did you know that, Wait, spiders, that Spider-Man sound? Did you know that spiders don't have penises and when they have sex, the sex organs are in their two front arms? I didn't know that. It makes Spider-Man a very different movie watch and knowing that. <laughs> He's just jizzing. It's just jizz. It makes him a squirting. It makes Spider-Man a sexual predator. Look, this isn't original. <laughs> I'm stealing all this from some comedian I saw on Conan. But like I saw that and I haven't been able to get it out of my head all week. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah. Let's move along then. Yes. Let's move along then. All right, this is our answers segment. That's a good way to end it. Answers. You're welcome. Answers, guys. Um, so, a long time ago in a galaxy, not so far away, I was in school. It was in Miss Winter's third grade class, and I remember her saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Just tremendously stupid people. Donald Trump didn't say that. Uh, I thought Donald Trump was your teacher. He was not my teacher. It was Miss Winter's, I just said uh, then I remember like, well, I got a question. I raised my hand Donald Winter. like an idiot, and um, everybody laughed at me. And then I remember that like, one day when I'm in charge, there will be no such thing as stupid questions. I'm going to actually encourage people to send me every question they possibly have. Even if they think it's stupid, I'm going to answer it. Tremendous questions. And so I created a podcast because I didn't become in charge of anything. 
made my own thing. And now we have the answer segment. You can. See, I'm trying not to burp onto the. You should do it. I do it every podcast now. Come on. I'm trying to be classy. I brought us down. This is a classy podcast. It's called the classy. You had podcast. John, and it was you know down here, and then uh, there you go, and then Chris tried to class you up a little bit, and then you got my fat ass, and I just burp in the microphone and fart where you guys can hear it. Uh, all right. So answers. You can send us your questions. Answers at passagreepod.com. You can also tweet them to us at. That's a great pod. I'm at Alex J. Milton. Pat's at not Pat the end. Robert's at Robert Barbosa03. And uh, hashtag answers or PTG answers with those bad boys. We'll get to them. And if you send us a question, we're going to get to it at some point. It may not be the, that week, but we will eventually get to it. So just bear with us. Here we go. Well, if you just answer the question, why don't you just answer the question? Be honest. No big deal. Yeah, answer. Answer the question. Don't change the subject. Just answer the fucking question. Yep, yep, thank you. My question is the question. Answers, 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 answers. All right. Let's lead us off with our boy, Skyla Lester. Oh, my God, Skyla. At OMG, it's Skyla, and that's Skyla with an E. He says, air conditioners. Just domesticated wind. I think candles were domesticated fires. Yeah. 100%. The yeah. air conditioners are domesticated. It's like, uh, only blow cold air here, only blow up when I tell you to. Yeah. We've, we fucking captured we have, and trained that bitch. We have pussy whipped air. Or wind, if you think about it. People then, talk about weather machines that control the weather. We already fucking have them. Nobody right? just thinks about it. And then I like with, like, wind, with uh, sails. Like, I, I've always wanted to be a sail... A sailing instructor like Andy Bernard mm-hmm. uh, teach nautical signaling to underprivileged children. It really changes their lives. Uh, but I've always wanted to be like a sailboat instructor. And then just like the only advice I give anybody in my classes is just just let the wind do its job. <laughs> just just let the wind do its job. They're like, I don't know what what do I do? How do we get out of this? Just, just let the wind do its job. That's on my aunt. How does that help? It doesn't help at all. I said. Just let the wind do its job. It's gonna blow you. You're gonna go one way, and you're gonna get what you can't. Just steer into the wind. You let the wind do its job. Like the what wind's coming that, that way. Just fucking turn and go. I don't know how to do. I said, let the wind do its goddamn job. How do you not know what I'm saying? Use the jib. <laughs> The jib. I don't even know what it means. It sounds official. I think the jib is the thing that swings on the sailboat. Yeah, it sounds right. I, I right. remember. I remember hearing it in uh, Wedding Crashers. Remember, uh, <laughs> we grew up in Singer Ranch, and we were able to go and rent those sailboats. I never did though. Yeah, probably a good idea because nobody knew how to fucking sail. Huh. We would go out there and say, "Oh, guess who's paddling back? Us." Yeah. I remember the, the little It's not very boats. windy. Yeah, the paddle boats are out there. Yeah, you've got a neighborhood on three sides if, of you. Yeah, you had like three of the four spots where wind would probably come from were blocked. Yeah. So And then you just got cars driving by on Cigarettes Boulevard and you're like, well, I hope we get some of that shit. Nope. <laughs> just, uh, if you're ever in a sailboat situation, guys, just remember, let the wind do its job. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the advice ever. I don't know what that means. I said, let it do its job. Well, you didn't say where to turn the sails or whatever. I told you it knows what it's doing. Where are you trying to go? Are you trying to go to sea or go back to port? And a lot of people forget this. And if you've ever lost at sea in a sailboat, just remember, like, it's like instinct. You know, like, a dog always knows where home, where's home, where home is. You know, like, wherever you, you let a pigeon out in the nest, it's going to always find that nest because it's born like that. Take a nap. Where you put... <laughs> no, you just you take a nap and see which way the sun is uh, fucking sailing from. Then you remember where you took off from. Picture the map in your head and be like, oh, the sun rises in the east. Okay, then we're in the Gulf. The so the, and, and then you just go directionally away from it. And also, all sailboats, when they're born, they know where they were born. And so, like, wherever they take off, <laughs> it's in their instinct to return to their home port. So if you ever get lost in a sailboat... Let the window also, down. it'll take you back to where you took off. Also, us. always have a gun on your sailboat, <laughs> so if you get lost, you don't want to be dehydrated until you die. You don't want to starve to death. Just end it. Keep be you able to. You won't have to because the wind will take you back. But, so where it but, but if it doesn't, be able to. The make, wind does. make sure you can end your life down. on your terms. Yep. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. How to sail. That's what we taught you guys. End 
ended on it. <laughs> let the wind do its job and end it on your own terms. The phrase, let the wind do its job, is just the best phrase ever to me. Just because, like, if you're in like, a religious situation and an instructor, just let the wind do its job! <laughs> what? It's, well, not in, in a shitty... It, We're about to capsize! In one specific shitty situation. <laughs> No one else can be. We'll, we'll say with the, with a the sailboat instructor. Uh, I can only think of so many situations you could be in. Google Maps went down. Uh, I'm lost. Let the wind do its job. Let the wind. See that doesn't work. So to answer your question, yes, it's domesticated wind. One hundred percent domesticated wind. <laughs> oh I don't man. Know where else we're going with that? Nope. Yeah, that was it. Good questions, <laughs> Way to way to, to provoke us though with our thoughts. Thought provoking. Maybe we, we should try something next week. Take an Adderall before we start. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be fun in that. <laughs> and Nicholas in Iowa writes back in and he says, Leave no trace. An environmentalist's goal or a serial killer's motto? Oh, I'm going to go serial killer's it's motto. Definitely. Have you ever seen Dexter? Uh, did you ever see the pipeline pro- uh, protests? They left a lot of trash. They left a lot, they left a lot of, of trash. I don't know if you know this, trash. but most people that um, act like they care about uh, any certain issue are full of fucking shit. Well, also, um, leave no trace. A lot of times people will get this mistake and we're like, yeah. sometimes I'll go on the beach and I'll be walking with Jesus and then you'll see <laughs> like there's four footprints, right? And then at one point they become just two footprints. And I'm like, well, Alex, what happened? Why were they just two footprints? Like, because at that point, that's when Jesus carried me. Uh, no, it's because sand people always walk in uh, <laughs> a straight line numbers. to hide their numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can work in a Star Wars fucking reference like anyway. That. But also, the, they always say the perfect crime is stabbing somebody to death with an icicle. That's a quite true, that at least. The, the murder weapon's going to disappear, man. Right, and then if you so, see the movie Snatch, that's leaving no trace. if you see the movie Snatch, you just feed them the pigs, because pigs eat bones. Yeah. Well, the hungry pigs. You feel well, you hungry like, pigs. You got to starve for a couple days. <laughs> you don't know where a, a, a pig, pig farm is a hungry pig. And I grew know. about 18 pounds in a day. 18 pounds. I don't know. I just, yeah, fucking cunt. <laughs> fucking love that guy. And they just make a fun of gypsies. Pikeys. The fucking pikey. Offset go down the third round. You like eggs? And the dog, the dog that saw the squeaky toy, and then he just barks the squeaky thing every single time. It's caravan. It's very mad. Caravan. Oi! You're a big fucker, right? That's your boxer, right? I could quote that movie all fucking You've day. You've never seen Snatch? It was at an awkward angle. Tyrone, it was right fucking behind you. God, like, all day. All day. Stop me now. Uh, uh yeah, definitely a serial killer's motto. Robert? Environmental so serial killer's motto. Oh, man. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go environmentalist. Well, I feel like serial killers, they, they, they want to be known. They like that thrill. Like it's they're killing like, serial, I guess. Mm-hmm. But how do you, you gotta get away with it at some point. It's gonna, you're gonna leave a little evidence behind. So I would say leave no trace. Also, I would say that if I was going to the beach for the day too. So that would have been a third option. If you left, I would probably pick that. I would also say <laughs> it's my motto when I'm wiping. Also, very good. So there's, there's a couple of off-book ones, but if we're having to go, I think the majority of us say serial killer. Yeah. Google question, Nicholas. Fuck you, Robert. Uh, <laughs> Matthew Adamio, at Matthew Adamio 2 on Twitter says, Do the fighting Irish have what it takes to stay undefeated? Is he hot take guy? Is he looking for a hot take? Well, I think he's an Irish fan as well, because he kept tweeting, Fucking touch him! During the game, oh, so man. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, looking at their schedule, I think they do. We just have to have somebody knock off Bama in the playoffs. Yeah, I don't think they're, they're, I don't they're think not going to be. I love the Irish. I don't think we can beat Bama. They, I know they can't. Or Georgia. Or Clemson. I think we can beat Georgia. I don't think you can beat Clemson. I think Clemson we can. Or Georgia. It's, uh, we have to play perfect. But I hope doable. Stanford beats the fuck out of Notre Dame this weekend. You really sound badly I can beat you, right? I know, but I'm just saying, I bet Stanford beats the fuck out of Notre Dame. No, dude, we're going to keep... What's the point spread? What's the point spread? I don't don't fucking know. I'm going to take Stanford in the points. I'm betting it, no matter what. I don't care. I I don't know what it is. $5 bet? Just a gentleman's bet? Stanford points. Done. Done. I hope they get 13 points. Yeah, um... I I think they do, but it's... Or 
we're talking regular season or full season. Like regular season, yeah, I, I think we can go undefeated. Into the playoff, uh, I don't know so much. Well, good thing you have like a forty-eight rivalry games to play. Like every season, you know, like you're gonna play Boston College, you're gonna play USC, you're gonna play Michigan. Should be every fucking year. Yeah, but screw they, that Michigan shit up. Let's go back. One. So like, if you get like four or five games, you get maybe you gotta play every year. So there's like six games that are built into Notre Dame's schedule, which is why I was like, we gotta be an independent. We can't be in a conference. Play in a conference, and then I'll take you seriously. That's what I always. All say. All right. Uh, over under is fifty four. Blue fucking. I guess I did the under. Where's Where's the fucking line? Like, why does this not show the line? You just you keep talking. I'm, I got Google it. shit. All right. Um, our next question will, that'll come from. Uh, I I'd say no. Pat says yes, and Robert doesn't really watch football enough to know. So uh, Matthew Adamio, we're gonna get back to that. Tyler Thomason at Tyler Thomason twenty seven says, "Why do they call them apartments if they're built together?" Mm. Seems a little divisive, if you ask me. You know what? Because it keeps you apart from the dickhead next to you. Apart from them and their men. Yeah. Notre, Notre, Notre Dame minus five and a half. I'm gonna take the five and a half. Be easy. I like that. I think that's a good line. Yeah, that's a pretty solid line. Uh, so yeah, Notre Dame's gonna win one by one. a touchdown. So I'm gonna win. Got it. Um, all right. So yeah, I'm gonna take Notre. I'll, pay, I'll take. I'll take the five and a half points. And well, we already it. shook on it before we knew the line. So thank so, God the line was at twenty something. But uh, Tyler says yes. Uh, why do they call them apartments if they're built together? I don't understand that. I think it's very divisive. Well, because it keeps you apart. I guess that makes sense. But then, like, the Brits call them flats, which is like, what the fuck is Well, that? British are wrong about everything. They call cigarettes fags. You're right. It's very wrong. Like, they speak English, but they don't know how to speak fucking English. Like, it's ridiculous. English, English, mate. Like, what is that? Uh, Austin Powers? <laughs> We're speaking English. And a few bumps in a bullshit. And then she shat on a turtle. And she shat on a turtle. But maybe if you weren't saying things in Japanese, I wouldn't be reading the subtitles, making it seem as if you were saying things that were dirty. Then he stares at the camera. See, that would have been better. I stared at my camera. You should have stared at yours, Dan. I know. I was letting you do that thing. That Robert, that's your cut. Right? Um, um, oh, shit. On. I didn't realize it was Tyler. Tyler, you're Tyler Thomason. He's a Cowboys fan, So right? dumb. Yeah. I can't oh, say anything. He, it's so funny, though. Because he fucking despises Dak. Good. Because he's smart and he understands. Right, okay. Well, I mean, I like him a little bit more now. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's because they keep, you know, they keep you apart from other people. That's a pretty solid one. Yeah. They're better than flats. Fuck flats. Yeah. Don't call these. They're flats. not flat. They're, they're not, built up. They're not at all. And they have roofs. Yeah. It's not flat one bit. And walls? They're three yeah, dimensional? It's pretty, yeah, the opposite of flat. Stupid British people. Um, Max Gower writes it. Has he written that before? Is Max I, don't re- I don't recognize that name. I don't remember it either. Um, he says, Would you rather have a hand made of a. Would you rather have a hand made of ham or an armpit that dispenses sunscreen? Sunscreen, easily. I'm, I'm a big ham fan. I, I like ham. Look at me, I'm a big fan of ham. But I'm also very white. So, like, when I'm floating the river, if I could just sit there and go... But, like, you can also sit there eating ham and I'm get hungry. Yeah, but I'm always hungry. So I, I'd be 900 fucking pounds if I hit ham. Can you imagine, like, my your armpit that dispenses sunscreen is just because like, you're gonna have so many days where your shirt just has just gross just like sunscreen I think I can control it I don't think so yeah every time you lift your arms what it was like I'd learn to not lift my arms okay John McCain yeah really you're gonna attack John McCain for not being able to I'm saying you're not John McCain that's what I'm saying hey he learned how to deal with it I think <laughs> somebody I else too. can too I would go ham I'm gonna go hand hand. I'm hand. gonna go sunscreen. Robert, man. you gotta break this tie. Would you go sunscreen that is dispensed from your armpits or a hand with ham? I'm gonna go sunscreen. What? I'm, go I'm sunscreen. shocked. I, I just, you guys are gonna have the grossest like inner shirts. Like good luck wash. Good luck being your laundry. I mean, yeah, you're, you're gonna smell like sunscreen a lot, Ew. which isn't great. You're not sweating. You can dispense it. You can choose when to do it. Every That's time true. you open your, you <gasps> put your hands up. And Think about it like you know when you're a kid, you put your arm around it and make the fart noise. Like if that's how you, you had to like you had to like wrench out the sunscreen. All right, you're that's how I'm taking it. With that. Yeah, sunscreen. All right, it's sunscreen. Just think about Alex. You're white too. Like I, I know still, you like burn. ham is dope though. Ham is dope, 
But like, also, like, like, how many times, like, if I just had a ham hand, I'd be eating it all the time. Is it good, like, slices of ham or, like, that big, like... It's a big ham. No, big I'm, ham. I, yeah, I'm picturing it's, a, like, a ham. It's a hand like, sized like, ham. Like a cartoon ham. Right. You know, yeah. that has the bones sticking With out. Like, the, the diamonds cut into yeah. it. Yeah. But also, think about it. You could never double fist a beer. Good point. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Sunscreen. <laughs> Sunscreen, and I just... Can't drink a see. beer while pleasuring a lady. It's true. You know? It's true. And a lady always is pleasured by, uh... And after a well, second. sunscreen probably doesn't sting up there. Who knows? You use it as a lube if you had to. I don't think it would sting. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> it might. Dude, <laughs> sun, sunscreen in your dick hole? I bet that stings like a motherfucker. One time, I used uh, Benadryl. Like, <laughs> not like the pill, Benadryl. Like the, uh, like you could put on like a, a rash. And there wasn't a lot left. You jerked it with Benadryl? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, didn't jerk it. Oh, as lube? Try and go in the back door. Try and go in the back door. We didn't have a lot of options, and I was like, what ifs? It, it, did it burn? No. Didn't. Did it, it work? It had a nice little numbing effect. That okay, but here's... Anyone, which, which I would argue here's, let, let it, me last longer. Hold on, here's my question. You didn't have sunscreen? Or, sorry, not sunscreen. But you didn't have conditioner? No. Not on me right then. Is it a bedroom? I okay. Yeah, is it a pinch? Okay, I can't... I got remember. Benadryl, fuck it, let's go! Did that, that's a level of ingenuity I didn't know humans had. You know what? You'll be... I, 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 I surprised myself. That's, 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 I surprised myself. That's now, brilliant, sir. Didn't hear great reviews, but... <laughs> hey, it I worked. surprised myself. Hey, here's the real question. Did you finish? I did. There you go. Then it's a win. <laughs> you won. I guess girls can't really finish if it's... Oh, then. they can. They just have to be whores. Oh. Uh, then she was not. So good on her. Good on her, and good on me for not picking one of them. Uh, <laughs> um, I think I just shared a little bit too much this week, but uh, hey, that's what this podcast is for, guys. Well, you only shared too... I'm not going to ask you if it was her. I'm not going to... Hey, you only shared too much of it. It was wasn't. There you go. It wasn't. <laughs> Didn't even know her then. Okay, Didn't so there you go. That. So, that, so she's clear on that. Um, that was Max Gower. Our final... We got one more question then. It's Brandon Whitehead at Brando Whitehead. What's going on, buddy? What was it? What, did, what was he saying with you guys on Twitter this week about only having missionary sex when you're married? Yeah. Which I, I think is that was kind of like an argument, I guess. I, I, I know that's missionary sex. I know that's like, not true. Because when you're married, there's gonna be a lot of times when y'all are both still horny, but you fucking hate each other and you don't want to look at each other. So I know that's not true. Oh, the side, the sideways sex. Right? Oh no, just doggy. Like, you're both horny, you both need to fucking Yeah, come. sometimes you're, like, tired, you you both want to come anyways, but it's, like, sideways sex. Like, oh, you no, don't I, gotta not, do it, you don't gotta get on top yeah, of it. Yeah, you can still go I'm just saying, like... It's like a spoon it's a, fuck as well. It's always a good joke that, you know, married people only have missionary, but, like, to, like in uh, Scrubs, when uh, Carla was always pissed at Turk, but she still wanted to conceive. You know what? You gotta do it somehow, but you don't want to look at him? There you go. Doggy style. Boom. Boom. Giant skis. All right, um, so Brandon Whitehead did not weigh in about that. Yeah, I'm telling you about your marriage. Right, but he weighed in and says, does a vegan's mouth water when I mow my lawn? <laughs> uh, actually, I'm going to go no. I don't think so. I mean, no, you're killing the grass. I was going to say, a vegan probably murder. views that as murder. murder. You're killing the grass. But what Their if you're eyes gonna water. Uh, but what if you're recycling the grass and you're going to replant it? How do you recycle I don't what? Fucking know. Right? I'm gonna go there. I don't have all the answers. I... Hey, quit throwing things. I think you like tangle up like six different ways with this headphone. Shh, they can't see. They can. You're on camera. So Shut up. Video, yeah, I almost choked myself with the headphones there, guys. That would have been hilarious. Um, no, he, I'm like, gonna go chokes there. himself to death, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be good with going that way. That'd be weird to like. We would have to. I'd, like, luckily, we would have it on camera. So we would be like out as like suspects, pretty. But quick. also, it would we, be, like, we would have to. Hang. You watched me choke to death and did nothing. But like, what would be funny is that like police would have to take the footage that Robert just recorded, <laughs> and then they would have to go through that footage and be like, "Wait, they were just talking about dicks? What? They were just talking about how married couples fuck and using Benadryl as lube? Huh? What was? No wonder he killed himself." Hate fuck, man. That's the term. Hate fuck. That's exactly. I right. hate you. I still want to fuck you. But I want to hate you. fuck the, the, the shit out of watching these videos. 
That's what they. That's what they would. Uh, Thank no, God you I'm didn't gonna go. Yourself, see, I'm gonna go with yeah. Their eyes are gonna water because vegans are fucking pussies and get offended about everything. Their so mouths, so mouths, mouths water. No, their eyes water. Their eyes water. Their, their mouths don't because they're too offended by you killing plants. I mean, and also to be hungry, they lo- they lose their appetite. Let's all be real here. We've all had some of those birdie bots million. Flavored beans from Harry Potter. Nope. Ah, uh, like, yes, I have. They were like the grass flavored ones, right? And they suck. Yeah. Nobody wants to eat grass. Actually, I have no problem with them. They're gross, though. But you know what grass tastes like. Everyone knows what grass tastes like. Okay, I bet you Les Miles liked them. I mean, Les Miles loved the grass. That's <laughs> how he chews some grass just to see if it's a good day. Yeah. But still, I think that uh, grass sucks to taste. So I don't think any vegan's mouth is going to water. Now, if you were like I mean, over they some eat that. wheat That's grass, what they eat, if you were over wheat grass, I bet the wheat grass sucks. sucks. I bet you regular, like a fresh cut, healthy lawn Crab tastes grass. better than wheat, wheat grass. grass. I, I mean, bet you it tastes better. Wheat grass is better for you, though. Yeah, no, I'm not Instead talking about better for you. I'm talking about flavor. Ooh, you More put, pumpernickel ooh, grass. Ooh, you know, take some lemon pepper, put it on your grass clippings. There you go. Lemon grass. Ooh. Done. No. Uh, I'm going to say that the mouth does not water at all. Bobby? Yeah, mouth does not watch. It's but unanimous. Yeah. It's a unanimous vote. All right, guys. We just did our 250th episode of 250? We, we started off with some special whiskey. We didn't really mention. Yeah, we, uh, I, my dad gives, my brother and I, every couple years, he gives us some Middleton Irish whiskey. Which it's is really fucking rare. phenomenal. Yeah, it's really expensive. And we it's only, like $250 a bottle. We only busted out for the special occasions. Robert doesn't drink. Pat and I busted out. I was nice shocked Alex brought, brought, brought Just because uh, I use it for the, the big achievements. Like, I, I, if you had told me like episode one of Passive Gravy that I was ever going to have 100 episodes of Passive Gravy, I would have said fuck off. <laughs> like, if you had told me that I would have 200 episodes, I would have said fuck off. If you had told me that I would have had a producer that I'm paying to fucking hang out with like not like I'm not not shitting on you for Zan I'm paying you like that like I would have enough money to pay a producer to fucking like put together a video version of our podcast and help us book guests and get fucking sponsors and shit like it's awesome and like every time we get to the 50s I'm gonna try and try and just like remember this shit like I we haven't we haven't done anything we're not big we're not a big deal or anything but like yeah. I fucking love talking to you guys every week thank you it, mean, it means the world to me that there's people that fucking hit a download button on my podcast. Yeah. Because I remember when like 10 people fucking listened to us. Like, oh my god! We're in double digits! And now we're in triple digits and, and quadruple digits and all of that shit. And like, there was the other day when we had like a thousand downloads and we hadn't even had a fucking podcast uploaded for like six hours yet. And I was like, fuck yes! Like, we're fucking, I, we're, we're fucking, we're making movements and you guys are, you guys are sharing us with a friend and it's, there's people like Matthew Adamio, like Sam that come out, like fucking Brandon Whitehead that come out, like Sean Comets who never comes out but fucking always contributes to the goddamn show. Like all of you guys out there that fucking, that fucking write us in, Daniel Ramirez, everybody that plays in the Big Brother pool, even though they didn't watch Big Brother, Enrique Ramon that didn't watch Big Brother, now watches Big Brother because of the podcast, uh, Joy Diamond, all, all of you guys, you guys fucking, it, it means the word, Casey Lou, I'm trying not to forget anybody. But, like, all of you guys that fucking listen to us, that spend any part of your, like, you guys have, we get that you guys have a busy week, but when you spend, like, any time, just killing time, shooting the shit, listening to Bazzi Gravy, it means the world to me, and, like, I, it makes me feel like I'm not doing this for nothing, and I always feel like this a lot of times where, like, you can do a lot of work and you don't see a lot of results, and with podcasting, it's very easy to, like, get lost in that. Yeah. We don't have a million views. We don't have a million listeners. You can go look at our YouTube stuff. We don't have 10,000 downloads or anything like that that we're having with that. But, like, if we get, like, we have about, we have about 2,000, 3,000 people every week that fucking hit play on our podcast. And that means the whole fucking world. That's pretty Like, I work on a morning show, and I love that morning show. But this is something that I made. This is something, like, I brought that, like, I got to be in control of who I brought on the podcast. Pat was who I wanted to be on the podcast with. Robert's who I wanted to be on the podcast with. Robert's who I wanted to produce it and put all of this video stuff together. You know, like, it means the world to me that for 250 episodes, different people that actually listen to us. And I just, like, I'm not trying to get corny or cheesy at the end like I just did, though. But uh, I, I really appreciate you guys taking the times out of your life to listen to us. And then to fucking go on Pass, at Pass Gray Pod on Twitter to fucking interact with us, to come out to events that we had, to office trivia nights, to all kinds of fucking nights like that. Like, it means everything that you guys take time out of your life to like enjoy something that we're putting together because it's a lot of work to put this together every week. And we don't we don't try and talk about that a lot because it's fun to do. But like it is a lot of work to put a prep sheet together. Like 
Robert was right. uh, Robert was hitting me up last night like, hey, where the fuck's the prep sheet, buddy? And I didn't put a prep sheet together because I had the week off of work. I was like, oh, you're right. Fuck, I totally blanked on that. Like, it's a lot of, like, Robert was like, I don't know, what, we're, what are we talking about tomorrow, man? Hey, I kind of like, a lot of, like, it's, it's three people juggling a bunch of balls together. <laughs> and no, that's what she said. <laughs> it's three people doing all that stuff. But it, it means a lot. And I'm going to shut the fuck up because nobody fucking cares what I'm saying right now. I'm getting really cheesy. What are we doing? I'm just trying to play some nice sentimental music in the background. I just love all you guys. I just, I just started about four minutes too okay. late. Well, uh, it, did, it, it really does mean a lot to us, and I, I hope you guys will stick with us for another 250 episodes. And if we get to an episode 500, like, my God. Oh, we're we going to get there. We better have some, some more sponsors after that, right? But uh, to, to everybody else that's listened to us, the, the first 250 episodes, here's your 250 more. At Pass the Gravy Pod. Be sure to tune in at Pass the Gravy Bro, our other podcast, at Pass the Gravy Bro on the Twitter, if you want to follow that. We've got the Big Brother finale tonight. We've all given our picks, all that stuff. Pat's at not Pat DM. Robert's at Robert Robosa03. I am at Alex J. Middleton. We love you guys. Thank you so much for 250 great episodes. Until next week, guys. Pass the gravy. Bitches.